All right, folks, we are here for a speed run. We gotta do this tournament quick. We gotta do it fast. We gotta do it fast. We've got three hours. It's the biggest uh, tournament we've actually had yet. I think we have about 30 entrants, the one DQ. Uh, so we, we got we got about three hours to get through this whole thing, or else Psy Games is gonna shoot us in the head. They got they got maintenance coming on uh, three hours after the tournament started here. So we're going, we're going. We're starting off here with a UL versus... Actually, I didn't even catch it. We've got uh, overkicks here, or kicks, or I'm gonna call it... Yeah. Oh, Uno! Okay, from John Gramblu. Okay, so UL, Uno. I got no idea, man. I feel like, uh, as, as I've ranked up, I feel like UL has also suddenly become one of the rarest characters in the entire game. Nobody plays, I swear, like, nobody plays this character in Master Rank besides, like, Lupro. So, uh, I, I, UL Uno is something that I've not seen very often. I'm gonna be curious to, uh, to figure out. I mean, I feel like, I feel like the parry here has gotta be pretty nice. Yeah, I got, like, uh, it, Uno's parry's gotta be pretty nice for him here, I have to imagine, right? Like, uh, he, he obviously, uh, UL, lots of plus frames, lots of pressure, lots of, like, making it very scary to hit a button or do anything like that, but her throw out of her stance is not, like, super, like, it's very, she has to do a little hop there, so it's, like, pretty, pretty reactable when she's gonna throw you. Oh my god, so as I'm talking about the matchup here, John Granblue has just, yeah, they, they, they go corner to corner here, and they have just killed Gix in this first round. I'm trying to talk about, you know, oh, I wonder how this matchup's gonna go, and you know what? On the bright side, the players, they're here, they're on my side, they're also trying to speed run these matches, clearly. As, uh, as John Granblue takes that first round pretty quickly there. Oh, yeah, okay, so the stance, of course, if you are unfamiliar with UL, which I was going to say if you are somehow unfamiliar with UL, but again, this character is honestly pretty rare, I find. The stance is, very specifically, it counters mediums. It, or I guess so, yeah, mids, I suppose. It doesn't counter lows, it doesn't counter overheads, and it doesn't counter projectiles, right? But if you just run into her with a 6-6-L or any sort of, like, medium button like that, it's gonna counter you and it's gonna be a real bad time for you. You all also have some pretty nice damage here in the corner off of a lot of her different starters, right? So if you, uh, Andre's 2-L, I believe, is a low. So he should, have a, he should have somewhat of an easy time kind of sniping out. Oh, that dive kick from UL is nice, but it's, it leads to nothing, man. It's like such a, like, you, you look at the, the two the dive kicks these characters have, and it's such a sad comparison. Like, Uno's is plus three on block and leads to, like, half your health if he hits you in the corner. Uh, UL's gets her, like, you know, 900 damage. The best I can do is 900 damage. Even though she's supposed to be, like, the up-close, spooky, plus-frames pressure monster, right? Uno, I feel like Uno might actually have, like, scarier pressure than this character. Even though, and he can also zone her out, also. Oh, okay, okay, nice spot dodge there. There's those, those 6 6 L nerfs coming into play, right? The five extra frames of recovery, allowing kicks to spot dodge that, and then blow up John Granblue for their trouble here. Just dashing to the other side of the screen at the round start. I like it. Get, you're a zoner. Get to get your get your space. Of course, Uno Uno is very versatile, right? He can play basically any role. But against you, well, you're a zoner, right? For all intents and purposes, you want this character. If you can keep this character on the other side of the screen from you, you're gonna be very happy as Uno. Ooh, okay, okay. Doesn't get caught by the dive kick there. The uh, the overhead follow up out of that backflip, by the way, that is, I believe, plus on block. The low follow up is usually minus, but if it's spaced out very well, it can be either safe or even I think a very tiny bit plus for you, well. Right, so you gotta be careful with those backflips. It's one of UL's sort of gimmick options you can call you out with, or at least knowledge check you with, right? Especially if you just run up to her wake up. Okay. Some corner pressure going on. Good old hop. That hop obviously is both a throw bait and a low crush. So there's a very, that overhead kick there from UL is very useful. Because two of the things that would, that would beat her out of stance, right? It just beats them clean. And overheads and projectiles in the corner are quite rare. I think it's gonna work. Yeah, this super skybound art on reaction into the cutscene. Goddamn. Kicks with a solid reaction there, calling him out on the on the ground it's been. I'm gonna take that first game. Really, really, really strong stuff there. She calls in her wife, I think. I, I don't know the lore, especially not the UL lore. Again, if this character is rare in Rising, she's even rarer like outside of Rising. I swear to God. Wife, Tia called in, called in the wife on her ass. John Granblue ain't playing Grand. What the hell? I mean, if you think about it. Uno, he runs the Eternals. The Eternals are kind of like the Avengers. He's, he's basically Captain America. He's like, he's like, he's, like, he's, he's the leader of the, the good guys or something. He could be John Granblue. I, 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 could, I could see it. I could see it. Uno's got hands. All right. Oh, yeah. See, again, that, that backflip, that EX backflip is, I believe, Invincible Frame 1. Not all the versions of the backflip are, but the EX one is. So you got to be a little bit careful about that if he's going to try and hit you well meaty. You got you to look out for that as a possible option. If you do something too committal, you might just get punished for your trouble. Ooh, jump over there. Crossover coming out from kicks and taking that game to put themselves on set points. Really strong, uh, solid stuff so far. No fear, Shakespeare. Good news, maybe to do wall brawl next week. Awesome stuff, Lazy. We've missed you. You won the first one and you haven't been able to defend, defend your title ever since. If you can do the next week one, that'd be great. Anyways, John Granblue fighting for their life now. I mean, obviously, they're still on the winner's side, right? So if they lose, they just go down to losers. It's not that bad. It's important to note that it's John underscore Granblue, I suppose. It's, 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 what, does that make it more formal or something? More official, perhaps? But does that mean that John Granblue was taken and they are simply an imposter? Regardless, the game, they're ass beating the corner right now by kicks. Ooh, the raging strike. 
I don't know if that was a baited Brave counter that just worked out, or... Oh, I like this anti-air-to-air -air conversion. No Brave points, by the way, on the side of Kicks. Next touch is probably death, especially with John Granblue having 100 meter to convert into anything with that throw. Now, literally anything that hits is going to kill them. The spot dodge works out, doesn't get blown up for it. That is... Yeah. Yeah, as we were talking about earlier, right? The low there is uh, basically... Oh, yeah, the John Graham that plays Grand, I've run into that guy. That's right, that's right. Um, but what was I saying? Something about, oh, yeah, the low there out of the backflip from UL is minus most of the time. I think if, if he does it at, like, max distance, it could be, like, plus one or something like that, right? Uh, but, oh, nice counter. But, yeah, so uh, John Graham, blue there, taking advantage of that and counter hitting there to keep themselves alive. Still, by the way, set point, four kicks. Don't get it twisted. You're pretty sure there's, like, 15 grands by the name of John Graham, blue. I mean, it makes sense. Once again, I don't know. The same thing happened on the other side. Uh, it happened to, uh, for in kicks' favor this time. I don't know if that Raging Strike was a baited Brave counter that just kind of worked out. It does happen sometimes where your opponent Raging Strikes, but you're not ready for them to do it. Right, so you just get blown up anyway. There's gonna be a lot of damage in the corner coming out here from John Gramble. You're not dead, but I mean, you are alive on a technicality on life support. Text it the Aki way, but gonna get called out there. And now it's one-one. Okay, you know what? These players, they're making it. Uh, they're, they're, they're making it. They're making it. They're making it close. I, I obviously, I, I'm torn. You know, I love me a close set. I love things to go to game three, to game five, etc. But also, we gotta, we gotta go here, man. We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta go. <laughs> some, some two-o, some two-o stomps wouldn't actually be a bad thing. But both of these players, unfortunately, too good to allow that to happen. They're having a pretty close set so far. Oh, wow. Chase is after the backdash. Uno's 5H there is a pretty big advancing normal, right? So, ooh, wish the throw gets Brave Counter for his trouble. Again, I think another baited Brave Counter turns into Raging Strike and works out in Kix's favor there. I mean, it, it, ain't, it ain't lucky. To, it ain't a crime to be lucky, that is. Uh, you're alive. You're alive. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't like super... It was a lot closer than I think it would be. Uh, or I, th I thought it would be, but you're... Oh, yeah. Chip distance. This is horrifying. Uno has so many different ways to just murder you. Ooh, I love the super Skybound Dart. Calls out the dive kick there. Uh, still very alive. Cal, if your match isn't showing up, give them, uh, we'll, we'll wait to 610. If they're still not here, ping me, we'll send them down to the loser's bracket. And then if they're not there in five more minutes, uh, we'll, we'll eliminate them. Ping them, though. Try, uh, if, you have, if you haven't pinged them in the chat, please do. Anyways, John Granblue now putting themselves on winner's side, or on, rather, on set points, that is. Ooh, and the big parry coming out of Uno. Put him, give him some plus frames there. Gets the counter hit on kicks. Spot dodge to the 5 8. That's really good. Uno's 5 8, I did learn recently, talking to Blast Hammer, is like, 21 or 22 frames or something on startup so technically if you're like really on the ball you can't just react to that and spot dodge it right so you see the kicks kind of doing that and has been uh, giving them some some nice benefits Ooh, hops over and throws we talk about that throw being kind of reactable out of the the stance for ul but it is something you still have to look out for it's not free oh spot dodge not gonna dodge throws though only strike invincible not throw invincible brave counter not working out kicks here running out of health running out of brave points Again, John Graham Blue on set points. Ooh, it's going to be a nice little touch. Doesn't get punished for that low there. Oh, okay, okay, finds a hit conversion. But okay, no, no brave points at all on the side of kicks here. So even a reversal, anything is going to be really scary for them here. I like the no fear. Just jumping right out of the corner there. Trying not to get, oh my god, oh, but no hit confirm. Was unable to get anything out of that. The 5H not going to give anything to John Graham Blue either though. Oh, are you going to react in time or recover in time? No, you are not. To get smacked, the ultimate skill not quite reaching there. And gets smacked by the SBA for his trouble. John Granblue in a very close first game there, taking it. Well played to both players. But in those in that tense moment at the very end there, John Granblue surviving, pulling it out, and sending kicks down to loser's side. Well played, well played. All right, and here we are with our first match on loser's side of the bracket here. And we have Grisk on the Anila versus Vidril on the UL here. So we got two ULs back to back. I did not think this would be the case, but it is how it is. Those slimes that UL chases, by the way, I've played enough Freelink at this point that uh, those slimes, they uh, they haunt me. They haunt my dreams, in fact. But yeah, we, we got we got some some nice character representation here. Anila, obviously, a, a lot better after the buffs she received. I think one of we, we well, if, you, if you saw the tier list video that I made there with Lazy and Blast, one of the big things you talked about with Anila is her problem is like, she just does just doesn't do any goddamn damage, man. There's just no damage. But with the new buffs, uh, with her her new use skill, that basically the entirely new special that they gave her, she actually can get some pretty nasty conversions even in mid screen, right? You might, oh, I was guessing we won't even see something like that here. Let's see, they're going for the raging strike. Yeah, there you go. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah, so this this is like all this is that's courtesy of the new patch that that little bit of extension at the end with the use skill, right? So Anila actually does damage now. Her neutral is always pretty strong, right? I mean, not like not like it, like it's not like it was impossible to get it on her, but a lot of characters did struggle. Right, yeah, she got some nice... That, that move also starts up faster now. Ooh, nice hit on the DP. But yeah, Neela, I feel like, really did just get her biggest... The biggest issue with the character was kind of fixed. Uh, she's not exactly... I don't think she's, like, top one or anything. Not even close. But I think she is, like, a lot better than she used to be. Like, not even... I don't think she's in the conversation for, like, bottom five at all. Like, which, which is where we had her before. Right? Uh, UL didn't really get anything in the patch. Uh, so, this, you know, we're definitely... This is the... Uh, 
the, the love versus the loveless here, but it's fine. Gris taking that, that first game there. Vid uh, on the bright side getting a, a bit of a nicer start here though as they get they push Grisk all the way to the corner. Now we're running some corner pressure. Again, UL does still do some, some pretty nice damage in the corner. It is pretty still pretty scary to find your moment to press a button on this character sometimes. Ooh, but I like that. Right? UL got nothing and got her beloved 6-6 L nerfed. Yeah, yeah. Uh UL I would say was probably uh, kind of on the weaker end, so it's, it's definitely sad to see what happened to her. I like though Grisk hit you saw I had a button there. That overhead kick from uh, from Vid is plus. Right, but they were spaced out so far. That I think Gris basically took made had made the oh no tried to brave counter there got a raging strike and got countered for their trouble and Vid capitalizing on that very well to kill them in that second round. But yeah, that little corner trash happened a while ago there, where even though Vid did the the plus on block overhead kick, Grisk still challenged. It's because of the pushback, right? UL's far L is very big, so I guess they assume that they will be safe to hit a button there, even though they were technically minus and it worked out for them. Anyways, finding themselves now in the corner and yeah, gets low crushed by that uh, overhead follow up there. It's not an overhead, but you know the overhead slashes coming out of the backflip there. I will say that backflip god, I want to smack the hell out of them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, that is, you know, one of the more uh, potent things that UL has access to, especially because this character, again, is, is kind of rare. So, like, if you, unless you explicitly lab it, you're not going to get a whole lot of experience to figure out what exactly your best option is to, like, OS that or otherwise defeat it on wake up, right? It can be a bit of a, it can make her very slippery uh, on defense. Ooh, and the jump over. Nice cross up. That is a really nice cross up air normal there from UL. And it lets Vidril convert and take that first game. Solid stuff. Jumping out of the corner, holding up four like a Street Fighter 6. You gotta put some respect on the name there. Okay, once again. Getting the, the jump in there, but not gonna get a full conversion off it. Gets 6-6 L-Bonk for their trouble. Whiffs the throw, but still very safe. Pretty slow start up there. It's nice, but also very punishable if people get used to it. Yeah, I mean... Again, the oh, the overhead follow-up there is plus on block, so you have to basically either hit it on the way in or like just OS it on the on the way like, as she wakes up, essentially. The low follow-up is usually at the very least minus, right? It, there, there's ways to deal with it for sure, but it, it definitely can be a bit of a, a, a squirrely move, is the best way I'm going to describe it. All right. Ooh, and the stick. Once again, man, those those U conversions, you love to see it. Big damage coming out of Anila in the mid screen. Not what I'm used to seeing, but I'm, I'm sure the Anila players, they are they are counting cheap. They're counting dollar dollar bills. Having a great time after the pass. Ooh, okay, yeah. You got If, if you're Grisk, you got to be really careful. Vid has just been getting so much uh, mileage, just jumping out of the corner on you. You know what? I mean, said I can do that too. Fair enough. But yeah, you got you got to really start uh, holding that corner position and trying to 2-H them or otherwise, you know, uh, disincentivize them from just jumping out of corner like that. If you're not going to anti-air people, think about it for a second. If you're not going to 2-H, suddenly, yeah, if you're not going to 2-H, suddenly, like, jump-ins are, like, an incredibly overpowered option, right? Like, it's so, it's so, like, high reward and so low risk, right? And Vidral making very good use of that to put themselves now on set points. Grisk fighting for their life in bracket if they, this is loser sides. So if uh, Vidral takes this next round here, that will be elimination for Grisk. So they got to figure out something and they got to figure it out fast. All right, some sheep pressure. Ow, nice DP. Oh, oh my God. Bro, I, you know what? I didn't think of that. That's very interesting. The attack level on that backflip follow-up there is not super high, I suppose. So with the, I think that was 6-6-H coming out of Anila there, just crushes it straight up. If you're unfamiliar, moves have attack levels, and besides doing a lot of things like determining how, many, how much hit stun they have and how much how much they gain on counter it and things like that, it also determines whether or not moves will clash or crush. If a higher attackable move intersects hitboxes with a lower attackable move, it just basically ignores it completely like you just saw there. That was a really, really interesting answer to that backflip, and you know what? It gives Grisk the round. I love to see that. That was, that was like very clearly intentional, too. Like It was on reaction, they waited, they timed it out, and they kicked Vidril in the teeth and knocked them clean out. That was really cool stuff. I might have to do that myself. That's going to work pretty well for Ladiva, too. I think Grisk just taught me something. This is why, this is why I love running these tournaments, man. Oh, oh gets, gets clipped by that, though. Yeah, there is not a gap there to mash, unfortunately. If, uh, if UL is going to commit to that special. I guess their toes clipped. Quick little dash M. Thrown for their trouble. Still, by the way, still set points for Vidral. That was a really good play by Grisk. They still have to. They're basically on life support the entire time here. Counter hit 6XL. It's going to be good damage. Big starter in the corner here. Let's see what they do. Okay, okay. Going Perhaps going for either a reset for some Oki or maybe an, an, an unfortunate drop there. But still, regardless of what it is, still in a good position here is Grisk. Oh, and the big counter hit starter. I don't know Anila routes, but this, I have to imagine, is death. Yeah, this Raging Strike catch them into the Sheep Totem right there. Where the hell are they coming from? Who knows? But it doesn't matter. Regardless, they put Vid in the ground and keep Grisk alive here in that second game. God damn. Everyone's, everyone's out here taking this to game three. Again, I, I'm so torn, man. I love it. I love the close sets. I love seeing these adaptations. I love seeing how Grisk is playing against this, uh, like that, that 6 6 H on the back flip was sick as hell. But like, bro, we got to go. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Vid perhaps taking a breath here, composing themselves. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. We'll be right back in, I, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe just taking a quick breath there. 
waiting in between rounds, composing yourself again. You are fighting for your tournament life, right? So you don't want you want to make sure that you can uh, be playing your A game here, not letting the nerves get to you. Perhaps, perhaps what was going on there for both players. Nobody will know but them, unfortunately. Okay, round start button there works out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Diet Pepsi, my beloved. Ooh, run up throw. That's been working out pretty well for Vin, and once again, man, I like it. If I were Vin, I would just keep jumping, man. Just keep jumping. Like it just, it's been working out like. Grisk adapted pretty well to the backflips, but they have just like not been doing anything about these jump-ins. So, what's this? It's like almost gonna be death already, huh? Not quite, not quite. UL's SBA doesn't do that much damage, yeah. But, it's almost death. Now you're at 50-50. Strike will kill you, throw will kill you. Oh, counter hit. Okay, still alive. Not a big hit to confirm there from Vidril. It's, I mean, it's a really quick one. It's kind of difficult to hit confirm, but yeah. Chip slowly. Your window is closing. Your health is away. You're now in chip distance. That DP to seal things out. Just, oh, that's like smothering pressure there from Vid. That's what UL is pretty good at, right? If, you're, if, you don't, if you don't take your spots when they appear, suddenly you're just like in plus frames forever. You just have to keep blocking over and over and over again. And now, back on set point is Vidril. Let's see. Grisk did a good job of surviving last time. Let's see if they can pull it out again. But yeah, the jump-ins, man. There's nothing doing in terms of, in terms of, I would say, like, uh, if, if we were watching the replay here, if Grisk's doing VOD analysis after this, whether they win or, they might win, by the way, but whether they win or lose, I think you got you to look into uh, what your strategy is against people who jump in this much as Anila, right? Maybe her 2H isn't great. I actually am not entirely sure if the button is, like, particularly bad or something, but you got to have some strategy. This has been giving Vidril so much mileage. Now, giant corner combo, starting with that, with that use special to extend it, and this might be death? No, no, not quite. Didn't have the meter to convert it. Okay, but very scary. Ooh, you know what? Didn't actually need to Brave counter that. Unfortunately, that is a bit of a waste of Brave points there from Grisk because that low from that up close actually will be fully punishable, I think. At the very least, quite minus. Regardless, Buster Wool coming in here. The Sheep running you over like it's Yoshi's final smash and Super Smile. Uh, oh, and Ultimate. Oh, the staring contest. Come on, Grisk. This is for your life. What do you do? Oh, just gets bopped, unfortunately. I'm not sure if Grisk is aware that overheads beat you well stance. They seem to be a little bit... A little bit afraid to do some jump in normals there regardless though well played to both players very close set but in the end there vid was a little bit yeah it might be the first time that move got a kill maybe so but yeah vid, vid a little bit more uh you know a little bit a little bit able to more capitalize on some tools that grisk wasn't entirely ready to deal with well played well played all right and we are here with our next match on winner's side of the bracket this time kind of bouncing back and forth between winners round one losers round one etc etc and we've got council on the cagliostro of course versus astrea aster etc on the beelzebub so council obviously one of the cagliostros of all time this is definitely quite the the mountain to climb here for astrea but we'll see beelzebub cag is again beelzebub uh, we got a lot of rare characters showing up today we got we got a beelzebub we had some we had two uls we had an anila right so Beelzebub Cag is one that I must admit I am unfamiliar with, right? But uh, we shall see Cagliostro, of course, this character. Uh, you know, everyone was getting, uh, getting, getting, let's say, accosted for their crimes on patch day, and Cag just had to not show up to court. She missed Nuremberg trials and was literally not even mentioned in the patch notes. If anything, the Universal 6XL nerfs are probably a little bit nice for all those owners, including Mrs. Leostro there. So let's see, let's see. Very, very uh, beefy, beefy little owner here, and Council, of course, a very strong player in their own right. So, we'll have to see how Estrella deals with this. Not so bad so far. They haven't exactly been getting run over or anything. They've been doing a decent job of kind of spacing out and keeping themselves in a, uh, a nice position where they can maybe interact a little bit more than Council can. But right there, gets counter hit on their wake up for their trouble. Nice little combo start there. Back throw incident though. Hold on. Teleports right in their face. I don't know if that's a, possibly a frame kill there. But yeah, counter hit toilet leads to a full combo. Cagliostro's DP is a menacing little move, man. She doesn't have uh, a meterless one, don't get it twisted, but the, her metered version, like, that is one of the best metered DPs in the game, I, I have to say. It's already, like, it's pretty difficult to punish, right, in the, in the first place. If she does it in the air, you have to spot dodge the one hit and then punish her when she teleports behind you. You have to time it right, right? But if you get counter it, it's also a full combo. This thing is a hell of a move. One of the better metered DPs in the whole game, probably. Ow. Ooh, okay, we jump it. They're coming out from Australia, fighting their way out of the corner, at least trying to. Gets Brave Pound for their trouble, though. Ooh, overhead. I, I, I like, they took out the trap there, right? A lot of a lot of Cagliostro's uh, hit confirms are really not that scary if she doesn't have any traps up, right? Outside of some very corner uh, specific situations. Oh, no, it's Brave Count where it gets their DP baited, though. With the Raging Strike extensions, I have to imagine this is probably death. Yeah, had a lot more where that was coming from, too. The EX teleport there to extend the combo. Council takes that first game. But yes, uh, you saw basically as soon as that trap appeared above Aster's head there, they 2 h to try to get rid of it. They got overheaded through their trouble, but suddenly that overhead is not really that bad. It's like uh, it's like 900 damage, right? Getting rid of the traps when Cagliostro sets them up should be one of your top priorities, because otherwise this happens to you, right? Cagliostro, when the traps are out, you can just combo into basically anything off of any starter. 
right? It, it gets real nasty when the traps are there. So uh, controlling those is one of your biggest priorities, I think, as anybody playing against Cagliostro. This is kind of looking a little bit rough here for Aster, taking, taking some big damage. I like that full screen Beyblade. Kind of calls out uh, Council there, gives him some breathing, gives him some offense, but the coil attacks. Oh, and the overheads doesn't trigger the trap, but Paris, 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 Paris. Cagliostro, of course, doing her best JP cosplay. And with that Pierce there, Council puts themselves on set point versus Aster here. Yeah. Good old, good old hip thrust, EX hip thrust coming out from this, uh, this like weird thousand year old witch person who looks like a 12 year old girl. Okay, teleport's trying to teleport out of the corner there, but unfortunately that teleport is minus if you're, if you're ready for it. Council very much was. Not to the get out of jail free card that Astro was maybe hoping for. It gets caught out of the middle of their jump here, and now suddenly with all this meter on Council. Ooh, I like the Unisonic out. I was gonna say the next hit could be very dangerous here. Pays, pays the toilet tax. Does Aster. You gotta do it sometimes. Better, better than getting counter hit at the very least. Okay, EX Blade Blade not going for a big cash out there. Oh, but yeah, again, that teleport is a bit of a gimmick. Is this going to reach? No, Spot Dodge is not actually going to be the answer there. Uh, Spot Dodge does not beat Command Grabs, but the grab box on that Beelzebub uh, SBA is, like, tiny, man. So I'm pretty sure that was just out of range, unfortunately. And that's going to be Aster getting sent down to this bracket by Council. Well played, well played to both players, but Council just a little bit relentless on that cag there and reacted to those teleports very well. Aster was trying to use him to sort of get out of jail free, but Council was bopping him with regularity. All right, folks, we're moving, we're moving, we gotta go. Fast, quick, fast like, real, real, real fast. We're back here with our next match on loser's side, and we have Hostile, aka Call Me The Bank, aka Resident Belial May, versus Grand Blue Dreaming, aka Collision Course, aka the Fuselets, Fuselets, uh, first son? Second son? Infamous second son? Regardless, trying to make Daddy Fuselet proud here on loser's side of the bracket. We'll have to see. Hostile, though, it is no pushover, that's for damn sure. Always looks very strong on... I mean, he plays Avatar sometimes, right? But the Avatar usually, uh, you know, it does... It, 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 listen, I'm not going to say anything about Avatar. He's not even on the screen, okay? I, can't, I'm, I, gotta, I gotta try and beat the allegations. He's playing the, he's playing the better Belial right now, right? And he usually looks very strong on this regular Belial. So let's see how he can do here against uh, Collision. Really good start so far. Again, getting this corner pressure up. Vassaraga with no Soul Forge in the corner is a little bit of a tough time. I'm sitting right here. Listen, man, at this point, it's just like, I almost, it's like expected. I'm, I'm falling into habits. But yeah, this, this is like scary stuff with, with no, I mean, he has meter for DP, right? But otherwise, yeah, it's plus on block. Unfortunately, you've got to do something about that DP on the way down. Otherwise, you will just get bopped, especially with Vassaraga not even having a five frame uh, lights, right? So uh, plus two is actually plus three. Very scary time if he wants to mash at the very least. That's bad. Uh, Vassarago with, with only DP as an option here, with no Soul Forge and no nothing in the corner. Belial's pressure is already so scary for most of the cast to deal with, especially, let alone somebody with as stinky defense as Vassarago with no Soul Forge. So it's a bad start to the round here, but hold on! Ooh, okay, guess the command grab. This could be- like, Vassarago does do a lot of corner damage. One, one nice hit confirm here could give the round to Collision, but unfortunately, no such luck. As once again, Hostile holding up forward out of the corner like it is Street Fighter VI, and bops him on the way out there to take that first round. Okay, projectile, good start. Gets a Soul Forge up. This is the bread and butter of the character. Oh, probably not the, the follow-up they were looking for. They maybe wanted to do light, but got medium anyway. Light, obviously, Vassaraga's quickest anti-air option there. Okay, EX Pinwheel. Doesn't get caught losing to Pinwheel on stream. Collision saving his legacy. Ooh, okay. That, though, every, every form of those... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, Dog is the, the DP with that, but still, unfortunately, gonna get blown up for his trouble. Uh, at least he's out of the corner now, I suppose. That's something, right? Every form of those stomps from Belial, I believe... I mean, all of them are minus. I believe the U1 is also minus. It might be It might be safe. I mean, they're all safe, but it might also be minus, regardless. Oh, okay, that didn't convert. Plus two there. Oh, into the command grab. Nasty stuff from Hostile. Just rotating these options so well. This is exactly what Belial does best, right? Oh, and the U command grab. Very, very, very tricksy stuff. And caught losing to Pinwheel on stream. He is a collision course, unfortunately. That's Hostile takes that first game. This is what Belial is so good at, man. He just has so many different things that he can do to you. Uh, that you just have to look out for so many of them. That command grab is like a 40 frame startup or something, right? Theoretically, it's like super reactable. But like, you got Pinwheel you're looking out for, you're looking out for spaced, spaced like plus on block 2Ms, you're looking for 5H, you're looking for 6XL, you're looking for the parry, right? You're looking for all the different versions of Pinwheel. Like he has, has so much stuff to put on your mental stack that suddenly it becomes very difficult to actually react when he's away. And obviously there's just the basic strike throw shimmy mix too, right? Nice DP there to get Collision out of this corner. Gets the Soul Forge up too. This is where, this is where things can go good for Vostraga. If you just like loop these Soul Forge into stance interaction, into Soul Forge into stance interaction, right? Things can go really well for him. Ah, but gets caught out on his way in there. Punished. Big starter here for Hostile. I can get the full thing in the corner, but still big damage. The next touch will probably kill if it leads to Skybound Dart. So, oh my god, doesn't have Soul Forge on that. Good recognition by Hostile there. Just bop him straight out of Battalions. Without Soul Forge, there's absolutely no armor on Battalions of Fear. That is a big old startup. 
Okay, guess the crossover is going to get a big conversion off of those super skybound arts. This is going to be huge damage. Hostile is incredibly dead. We love the reverse super skybound art. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. Keeping collision alive here. Taking that first game in that second round. Or that first round in that second game, rather. Once again, died Pepsi, my beloved. Ooh, just DPs there. Covering his minus frames. But now once again, Vasaraga, no meter for DP, no Soul Forge, no five frame light, all plus frames from Belial. This is like, this is one of the worst, like it's one of the most miserable situations in the entire game, probably. But Collision surviving regardless. Ah, it does get counter hit 6 it's held eventually, though. It's just so hard to uh, to find a gap here to get out as Vasaraga versus this character. And Hostile also, like I mentioned, for, the, for his part, is also rotating his options very well on offense here. Making it very difficult for Collision to really do, to find his way out. Let's see. Ultimate Pinwheel. How will this affect LeBron James' legacy? Not positively, that's for damn sure. Ooh, I like the reaction there. Just waiting for any sort of commitment from Hostile to go into that ultimate DP. Doesn't have Soul Forge, unfortunately. Sadis gets called out by Pinwheel there. Okay, gets it up. That's huge. That's where the character really starts being a character, but unfortunately going to get blown up by that Pinwheel. Too many hits for the armor to go through, and Osmodius is going to put Hostile on set point. All right, all right. Let's see. Collision are doing a good job so far, but they are now officially fighting for their life. If they lose this set, they are out of the tournament. Unfortunately for them, let's see. EX times there, uses up the armor, but doesn't really get a whole lot out of it. That stomp is plus one on block. You got interrupted at the startup, but once again, that's just another thing that you have to look out for when you're when you're trying to defend against Belial. The 2M trying to take out Belial's toes. That is something that Boss Ragley loves to do. Oh, and he gets reset. This is such big damage. That wasn't actually a link, it was a reset, which is why that damage was so high. That was basically two separate combos. Unfortunate stuff. Oh, the parry does miss. Hold on. Okay, it's a good starter here. Nice. I let you all to see it, right? Ultimate dash there into the 2M. This is big damage. One more hit like that, and suddenly it's looking very doable for Collision. Oh, punches the 5H. Doesn't get a whole big... Doesn't get a starter off the jump hill, though. Not enough hits done, necessarily. I love the DP. Collision really staying alive here so far. Let's see, though. Lots of meter on Hostile. Any touch might be death. Ooh, doesn't quite get the full conversion to kill there. Doesn't get 2H either, though. Oh, I love it. And the air-to-air -air conversion extremely solid stuff from Collision in such a scary situation. To find that conversion and stay alive, why is... Man, again, these games are so good, but like, can't somebody just lose 2-0 and, and, and let me let me move forward in the bracket here? Man, you guys are, you guys are too good. Can't you just like, can't these matches be more lopsided? I gotta go, man, I gotta go. Okay, okay, but very well done from Collision there, staying alive. Hostile now, for his part. Push into the corner here. Good old strike throw, Fantasy Versus. Ooh, and that, that a lot easier for on the counter hit there to find that air-to-air -air conversion. Hostile, oh, what I was gonna say, gets the 6XL, but the charged heavies there actually do have armor on them from Basaraga. It's not very common that he uses them to actually armor through something, but unfortunately, it doesn't matter anyway for this first round, as Hostile's still going to find a stray hit there. And he's gonna put himself back on set point. Collision, once again, fighting for his life. Let's see. He did a great job keeping up uh, in the last game. But now, once again, cannot lose any more rounds in the set, or he will be sent straight to the Shadow Realm. Ooh, goes for 2M there, but a little bit out of range. That is such a good starter for Vasaraga. Gets him so much damage. If he 2Ms people successfully, he can just link into the big steppers into your entire life bar. But hasn't, hasn't been able to find it, really has Collision. And once again, reactable, in quotation marks, command grab there. Gets punched out of the armored move. Very unfortunate. The startup does happen on frame 6. There's not a true reversal there for Vasaraga. Actually, I think he got punched out of the projectile, actually. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happens. I think he got punched out of projectile. Anyways. All that being said, out. Corner pressure coming out now from Hostile. It's going to be a big conversion. Not going to be death. Not going to be death. But going to... Oh, wait. Actually, no. Okay, not going to be death. But very scary for Collision here. Catches him on the way down with a DP. Really good stuff. But now you're, any any little touch might kill. Brave counter on the 6-6-H. No Soul Forge. And doesn't react to the command grab, man. Such a powerful rotation of options from Hostile there. Incredibly well played. To take that 2-1. And unfortunately, eliminate Collision from the bracket. But if you're Collision, you can't be mad about that one at all, man. I think they played incredibly well. It's just Hostile very much rotating that uh, those option sets on Belial incredibly well, making it very hard to react, even though everything, again, technically reactable, in quotation marks, right? Well played to both players. Well played. All right, and moving right along here, we have Toki, Pion Toki here, on the Narmaya versus Sai on the Zeta. So let's see. Let's see. This is also a loser side match, so keep in mind. We are talking about fighting for our tournament lives here at this point. EX flip there. Oh, nice check from Sai on the way in there. Zeta does have some... Uh, her far L did get a buff, right? So it's, it's a little bit of a nice, uh, a nicer little poking tool there. Oh, man. A crush counter there. We're at like a Street Fighter V. Okay. Back throw into the corner. 
I like it from Toki. Ooh, and the throw, baby. We talk about it every week, man. We have Narmaya show up in both sides of the bracket pretty often. That U flip from Narmaya, while it is technically a gimmick if you use it in neutral, it is a very, very, very scary throw bait. It leads into such massive damage if you try and throw or if you try and brave counter it too early, right? Because again, ultimate skills do not scale combos that they start. Speaking of which, the queen of ultimate skill combos herself, Zeta. Oh, oh my god, combo limits. But throws anyway, American reset. Really solid recognition there from Psy. That combo dropped. I don't think they were ready for that combo to drop. They didn't let it get to them. They immediately got control of the situation there and take that first round from Toki. But yeah, both of these characters, incredibly, incredibly scary throw bait moves leading into just massive damage, right? So unfortunately uh, for Toki there, Psy getting the better of it uh, in that first round. Let's see how it shapes up as we go on here. Brave counter out from both players. Two brave points a pop. Brave counter out once again. Oh, and the U flip. Not tracking uh, how, how Toki would have wanted it to, probably, there. Was still trying to go rightwards, not leftwards. The cross-up confused the move, unfortunately. I've been there. Oh, my God. Nice 2H. Oh, and waits it out, too. Good timing there to get a bit more of a conversion. Drops it a little bit. Does side. Oh, punches Toki in the teeth, though, for that attempt at U flip. No huge conversion off it, but still nice. Brave counter once again. Both players now on one brave point, and we talk about... Oh, but drops it. That doesn't... Does that not convert? Oh. Gonna get the kill anyway, though. Just barely had 25% meter there. That actually had 25% exactly when they hit that Raging Strike. Able to get the Raging Chain and take that first game. Really, really solid stuff. But they, why that throw bait, I guess, doesn't convert? The air one doesn't convert into the ground one? Or, or was uh, Sidus a little bit slow on the draw there? It does. Yeah, I guess they're just a little bit slow. It happens. It happens. Regardless, though, they take that first game. And now Toki's got to figure out something quick. We are, we are rocking you. You need to time it? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. That makes sense. I feel like most of the time I get hit by the either the upwards one or, sorry, either the, the, I get hit by the horizontal one first, right? If you mash, you will miss. Fair enough. Fair enough. And who said Zeta ultimate skills had no skill involved? Ow, ow. Okay, gets the, the brave counter baited there. Ooh, parries the U-flip. Okay, interesting. Honestly, if uh, Sai definitely saw it coming there and was very ready for it, I think they probably would have had better luck just like close L-ing or something. Again, a full sort of float combo there on Toki. But at the end of the day, they picked the, the option they felt most comfortable with, I assume, right? and it worked out for them. Now with corner pressure, Bates the Brave counter. Really solid stuff for both these players. Oh my god. Hops out of the way of the U-flip that time. Toki unable to catch them. U-flip gave them huge mileage early on, but now... Uh, Sai has been getting either either very ready for it and also been getting a little bit lucky sometimes with just how they just are not there when the U flip does show up. Back throw incident. One brave point on Toki. Scary stuff tries to bait another brave counter and doesn't quite work out, but Raging Strike has been so good for Sai so far. I feel you. Toki, I feel you. It's like, Raging Strike should be in theory, be like so easy to react to. You just spot dodge it and they die. But I'm so free to Raging Strike and Toki is suffering a little bit from that right now too. It's, it's one, two rounds back to back here for Sai. So let's see if Toki can adapt and get ready for it from now on. Oh, here he goes. Kind of the conversion that I was looking for earlier. Big corner carry out of this 2H. Oh, and once again, yeah, just being just not there when the U flip lands. That interaction with the, that parry follow-up has been very favorable for Psy. Uh, I, I want to call them Psy games for a second. But yes, for Psy, uh, when they deal with that U flip, just like, don't be there. Oh my god, a counter hit 6-6-H. Six, six, it's going to be a nice grody starter here. Gonna probably go into SBA, I imagine. Oh no, loses the ultimate skills instead. Combo limit. Okay, but gives himself some nice Oki there. Text the throw the correct way, but now very low on HP is Toki. Almost anything here will get them. And Zeta still has 70 meter. Oh, the parry's not gonna work. God damn, the parry went off, but it's only one direction, right? So it, uh, it punishes the air there, but Arves is gonna call him out right there in neutral. And that's going to be 2-0. With Sai taking that there. Very well played by Toki, of course, but Sai was just like in the right place, in the right time on the screen at all times. And the parry was very, very well placed in a lot of those cases to catch Toki out in the middle of their offense. Well done to both players. We're now going to be moving back into a top eight qualification match here. Oh, looks we are they're already beginning to join here. They'll be back when this match gets going. All right, now we're back to winner's side of the bracket for a change. And we got our top eight qualification match here for winner's side. And we've got Fuselet, of course, on the Basaraga, as always, the big steam train boy. We've got Ehu Faith, aka Faith, is what I'm gonna call him, I guess, because it's easier for me. On Avatar Belial of all characters. I you know what? I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I will get through this whole match without saying anything about negative about Avatar Belial. Okay? Okay. Shake. I'm glad we I, I'm glad we can be adults about this and agree. Regardless, though, what I will do is I stop the cap. Listen, man. What I will say is I'll be very, very positive about Fuselet and his boss Raga here and this just massive damage that he can convert into from seemingly any hit in the corner. This uh, uh, Fuselet makes Boss Raga look like his kids, his combos actually work and are not some weird situational nonsense. Oh, and the DP there, cashing out the 2M from Faith. Get Fuselet that first round. Fuselet, of course, won the tournament last time. So looking to defend his uh, his title here. 
potentially be our first two-time winner. Actually, nobody on either the intermediate or the open bracket has won twice in a row here. Unfortunately, a lot of the times that is normally because, uh, you know, for some reason our, our winners are oftentimes unavailable the next week. But Fuse, he's here. He's back-to-back, -back, and he's trying to take it. So let's see. Faith being pulled, pulled into the corner a little bit here. Ow, ow. Okay, big, big old bonk there. Some nice corner pressure. That's minus on block, but safe for Fuse lit there. The stance follow-ups. Oh, the 2M just calling you out there again. Fuse is so good at sniping people's toes out with that 2M, and it's gonna kill to take that first game. Incredibly, incredibly clean stuff from Fuse there. Faith, gotta figure something out here. Fuse has just been on their approaches, been so good about calling them out, either with projectile or with 2M. I like the 2H, though. Hold on. It's a great way to start the rounds, right? Get that corner pressure there. Vasaraga still, but don't get it twisted. Even in Fuseless hands, this character's defense is awfully, awfully poopy. It's poopy butthole, as the kids would say, I think. I mean, maybe at this point we're talking about literal kids, like five-year-olds. But uh, yeah, so Avatar does have some pretty spooky offense if he wants to, right? So I could I could definitely see a, a, a position here where if Fuse doesn't have Soul Forge, if he doesn't have 50 meter, right? He's in the corner versus Faith. It could actually work out pretty well for them there. Okay, ultimate claw. Ooh, gets command grab though for their trouble. Now in the corner, not where you want to be ever, basically. Especially against Fuselet on this very scary Vasaraga. Big conversion here. This is probably, I believe, going to be death as he catches him there into... Bloody Moon is gonna whiff! God damn! Okay, okay, hold on. Chansu here. Chansu for Faith. Rare footage of Fuselet actually dropping Vasaraga combos. Ah, but the base drop. Gonna get called out hardcore by Fuse there and the awareness too to spot dodge the second hit of that. A lot of people will jump that Avatar SSBA and they'll be like, ah, I jumped the command grab, I'm good. But no, there is an explosion box afterwards there. You gotta spot dodge it on the way down. Fuse is doing that, punishing perfectly, and putting himself on set points. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see how Faith gets through here again. Good start to the round here. No Soul Forge, no meter, no reversal for a Fuse that, of course, has Brave points, though. If nobody got me, Brave counter got me, as always. Oh, calls out the U teleport there with the light stance follow up. Really solid stuff. Okay, nice, nice call from Faith there. Nice counter hit on the way in. Okay, the 2H has been very clean from Faith, you gotta admit. DP carries to the corner here. He's got locked out for your toes, though. Dodges the ultimate projectile. Ooh, and punches the spot dodge. Maybe not the best option versus that move. I like what Fuse did earlier when he tried to just smack it out of the air. Spot dodge, they're not gonna work out so well for him. I think he's not dead, though. After I can do some really long combos, though. Oh my god, there you go. My bad. My bad. That is, in fact, death. Yeah, not a great choice there to spot dodge that ultimate claw from Fuselet. And Faith making every single opportunity they can count is what you have to do on this character, man. You might not get that many opportunities. So they fully cash out there with multiple ultimate skills in that combo. And they send Fuse right to the Shadow Realm in that round. Oh, goddamn. Steam Train Man, though. Choo, 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 choo. Going right through your Devil lasers. I do not respect you, sir. Oh, and... Oh, they tried to spot dodge there to punish maybe a Brave counter from Fuse, but they just get Command Grab for their trouble. Oh, I like the call out there. You saw Fuse again going for that 2M. Trying to be cheeky with it. Gets bopped on the startup for his trouble there. Ooh, this is going to be a big starter here. Okay, no, no. Drops it. Not not quite a perfect... Uh, the perfect height there. Let's get the full conversion. Oh, gets DP'd, though. Bad stuff. Now, almost anything will kill on the side of Fuselet here. That projectile is going to be one of the few things that won't, but the steppers are special moves. And they absolutely will kill you to, to chip if you're not careful. It's exactly, unfortunately, what happens to Faith there as Fuse taking that set 2 0. Very solid stuff from Faith. But uh, Fuse just getting it there and moving on to top eight side of the bracket. So it's going to be up to Faith here to make a loser's run and try maybe get revenge on Fuse later on. All right, and we're back here on our loser side of the bracket for, I believe, top eight qualification is this game. We have Chemo Enjoyer on the Loane uh, versus Aster here on the Bubs once again. Uh, Chemo mentioning that apparently they are here to avenge Loane Kangs. Uh, I'm not sure who they're avenging Loane Kangs for or why he needs to be, uh, you know, avenged. But you know what? Uh, someone with a mission, you know, having, a, having a cause, having a drive like that, it can help out. Uh, I'm also, I was saying this before I started recording, but like, what? I don't know, man. What the hell is this matchup? I... I mean, like, Beelzebub has obviously, the, I think, maybe the better full-screen tools, right? But Lewain does like, if you just let him... Oh, okay, Human Pyramid. Lewain does like to just be at full screen, so I I have, I haven't the foggiest. I haven't the foggiest. The gimmick matchup? I, yeah, kind of, right? Just to, uh, the teleport there? Ooh, spot dodge and 6XL, but the nerfs weren't enough. Oh my god, speaking of the gimmick matchup. Teleport SBA? That's what we're doing? I love it. I love it, Aster. I love it. A man after my own heart. Taking that first round there. God damn. That was very fast-paced and going in Aster's favor there. Ow. Ooh, okay. Catch him on the way down there. Yeah, again, 6XL did get nerfed in the sense that it has, well, in a couple of ways, but the one that, that's relevant right now is it has five more frames of whip recovery, but Spot Dodge is still a 29-frame long animation. All right, don't get it twisted. So it, there are still lots of cases where you will Spot Dodge a 6XL and not have it be your turn. 
Right, and that's exactly what happened there to Kimo, unfortunately. Ow. Okay, Beyblade there. Going for a low, but doesn't quite get the toes from Kimo. This is very punishable. Ooh, they, they cover it with the Invincible Reversal. Love to see it. A reversal of their own from Astro, though. No conversion from Kimo after the bait. Teleports to the other side. Gets out of the corner for free and gets a little bit of a combo here. But, oh, I was going to say, but the Invincible Reversal is going to clear it out here and take it 1-1 in this round. This absolute nonsense happening so far. If you're Kimo, you got to be a lot more careful about these teleports, man. You definitely can smack Bubs in the face for teleporting right in front of you there, but it's a little bit hard to react to with all the other things he's doing at full screen on occasion. Unisonic, also, that is not a gimmick move. That is just a straight-up good dive kick. No way fans are butts about it. That thing is very hard to deal with unless you have just a monster 2H or some other really good air-to-air -air option. Okay, 2H blocks, but not punished. Wall bounce here for Kimo. It's going to be a nice little bit of damage. Wayne does not do the most damage ever on basically any of his hits, but still, it's going to be very tricky in the corner. Teleporting out of the corner, though, is Aster. Now he doesn't have to deal with any of this nonsense. Off the throw there. Can't actually teleport in safely, I believe. Gives him enough of a knockdown. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Ends right into the command grab. Super once again does Kimo. What the hell is going on? Big damage. And one brave point only now blocks the Invincible Reversal. But there's a low. There's a low. It does end in a low there. Aster got a little bit too excited to punish. And gets their toes clipped for their trouble. But just runs up. That is That looks so scary, man. Lil Wayne is doing his little goofy parry pose, and Beelzebub just grabs him by the neck and takes that first game. That was like, that was brutal. That was, that, that, that was, that was actually very, very, I, I, don't, I don't feel good about watching that, man. I like Lil Wayne. I don't want that kind of stuff to happen to him. Anyways, Aster taking that first game there. Really solid stuff to grab that parry to end the game. Let's see. And I'll say, let's see how Kimo adapts. Both of these players are just kind of fucking swinging. So both of them have to do, they've got a lot of uh, adaptation to do. Ow, ow, ow. Good wall bounce here. Aster finding his way out of the corner pretty quick, though. Ooh, that is full screen. Ultimate Beyblade there. Junkrat wheel, though. Speaking of full screen, neutral control moves. This trading, this trading meter back and forth here for full screen moves are both players. Works out pretty well on the ultimate karma there for Aster. You got to spot dodge that. Remember, you can't even jump it. It will it will blow you up if you jump. Ooh, tries to eat, but gets Unisonic for his trouble. I think Unisonic is a pretty good option against Catabot there, right? The little Catalina tank. Ooh, gets fainted, though, by the, uh, the little spot dodge there. Couldn't quite beat the human pyramids. Ultimate shield? Hold on. It's just like... These guys just blowing each other up back to back to back. Back throw coming out from Kimo, though. Takes that first game. This is like the most like aggressive match we've ever seen. Seems like we'll be able to go into top eight right after this. That's perfect. We, I think we should, with uh, with everything being best of three until the finals, I think we should be able to get that done in, in about two hours. That's how much we'll have. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Big starter here from Aster. Big corner damage here with the, with that Karma. It's always funny to watch the Karma hit confirms because he just gets frozen in place for a second there. That uh, Lewayne parry actually does not, it activates slow enough after the after you trigger it that a lot of the times you can't just spot dodge it straight up if you do trigger it, but obviously you have to use a button with not that much recovery on it. Unisonic there, for example, is obviously just it was boned. Ooh, trying to fish for some of the food there. Lewayne can get either meter or HP out of those eats. It's, it's completely random, but if you give him enough distance for enough time, he will just basically completely heal himself to full and get to 100% meter. So definitely, even, even Beelzebub does not want to just give Lewayne that screen space the entire time. At least keep him under pressure at the very least. Brave counters that, interesting. That is obviously minus, but maybe just didn't want to uh, have to deal with the mind game of potentially getting covered by parry there after the minus frames. Plus on block projectiles there. Lots of, oh my god, I was going to say lots of meter and lots of advantage here for Aster, but no. Gets Raging Strike converted on, yet to keep it nice and simple. I love it from Kimo. Keep it nice and simple, Raging Strike into Raging Strike to take that second game and tie us up one to one. Let's see. Final game here again. This yeah, it's been an absolutely chaotic match so far. And I mean, it's been very entertaining to watch. Gets crabs him by the neck once again. That throw. I never noticed how how like horrible that throw from Beelzebub is until I just noticed I, it happened to Lewayne. And I was like, no, my boy, my boy. Because he just like he grabs you by the neck and then cuts you in half with the wing, right? It's very nuts. Why are Beelzebub's, are Beelzebub's wings made of metal? I just, did I just notice that? What's that about? Anyway. Big wall bounce, nice side switch combo here from Kimo. Very clean stuff. To both get themselves out of the corner and oh, nice flutter kicks, really solid punish on the SBA there. Astro's been able to kind of gimmick them out a little bit with that a couple of times, but Kimo clearly more ready for it now. Higher up on their mental stack is that SBA command grab. Lots of health. Oh my God, I was gonna say lots of health lead on the side of Kimo here, but now suddenly dwindling as they whiff that throw too. Just throws, whiffs, spot dodges, whiffs. Everything's going wrong here for Kimo at the back half of this round. Has to look out for some full screen potential nonsense. Yeah, exactly what I was referring to. Full screen nonsense there, killing Lewayne before the Catabots or the or the high bro. Could even help him out. And now, Aster on set points. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, Unisonic. Gonna call out the approach there from Kimo. 
Big conversion here mid-screen off of the Karma. Nice damage. He gets a teleport too. Gets enough of a knockdown. The teleport's safe, but the Beyblade is going to get parried for his trouble. Teleports right in. Oh, what's the throw, but no punish. Not, not quite ready for it. It was Chemo. Good for Aster for sure. And just goes right into Skybound. I just want the damage. I want you to give me my Brave Point. I want you to give me my, your health. I'm going to run you for your fade, as it were. All right. But here's the thing, though. Loane, he's always got a chance with the MILF install. He's always got a chance. How good are you at the Mario Party minigame? Let's see how Aster can do here. Spot us the fire. Not so bad. Not so bad. Teleports. Oh, gets hit by the fire. Okay, could be worse. Way worse things have, gotten, have, have happened from getting hit with a Skybound Dark, though. But suddenly, the HP is not looking so bad for... Oh, God. Not looking so bad for Kimo there. But they both whiff throws right in each other's faces. Aster, unfortunately, though, whiffs his throw first. Which means he recovers first. And from there, going to take that set and eliminate Kimo. Incredibly chaotic uh, matchup there. But works out very well for Aster. And moves on to top 8 of the side. Well played, well played. You are great. Now we're going to top 8. Alright, well, here we are on winner's side. of our actually loser's side, rather. First of our top 8 here. And uh, remember, it's a little bit different this time. Because we are in a bit of a time crunch. Psy Games has a gun to our head. And we have to be careful about that. So, this is still going to be best of 3. All sets will be best of 3 until we get to the finals. That is, winner's finals, loser's finals, and grand finals will be best of 5. Uh, everything else will be best of 3. So the top 8 is going to go a little bit faster than it normally has here. These players are not going to have quite as much time to adapt to each other, so we're going to have to see how they how they fare in this first two environment. You're right, this is the run back. That's right, this is the first game on stream. We had uh, Kix and uh, John Graham Blue here, and they're playing again. Let's see let's see how it goes this time. Ow. Ooh, nice spot dodge there on the 5-H. Once again, Kix was kind of clean with that. This first round, though, going to go down for John underscore Graham Blue there. Uh, stay hydrated, by the way, folks. I'm going to take a sip of water myself. Very important stuff. If you haven't drank enough water today, drink some water. Oh, baby! That is good stuff. That is some good-ass water, I tell you what. Okay, corner pressure coming out from John Graham Blue here. Pushing kicks to the corner early, trying to take this first game. Oh, baby, with the jump out. Once again, kicks have been really good about just jumping out in that cross-up air button from UL. Give him some big conversion to the corner here and get him out of the corner at the same time. Two birds stoned at once, as Ricky would say. Oh, you know what? Doesn't guard cancel. John Graham Blue decides against it, but kicks doesn't call him out on it. Doesn't actually do the chain. He was trying to possibly save 25% meter there. A little bit of a gamble. It didn't quite work out for him. Oh, and the backflip just gets caught out by 5H there. Really, really clean stuff. Oh, but drops the combo there. Still, very, very good position here for John Graham Blue, and they are blocking the Skybound Dart, so a very good position as they take that first game in pretty clean fashion. Let's see. Again, unfortunately, we are rocking best of threes here, so if Kix loses this next game, they are already out of the tournament. Where we, got, we got a speed run through our top eight. Just a little bit. We're doing a TNS style this week. You know how it be. Ow. Okay, once again, corner pressure. Good start to the round here for John Grambles. Been pushing kicks to the corner pretty early on, pretty consistently in this matchup so far. Makes sense. I feel like Andre is probably going to win the neutral most of the time in this matchup versus UL. Makes sense that he gets the first turn here on offense. Oh, and that dive kick is so scary. Plus three on block. Really solid throw baits. Does not does not hang his toes down. It's very hard to beat out with a, with a button or something. And gives him a giant combo on hit. As seven golden letters there coming out for John Graham. We're putting him on set point already in our first match of top eight here. Let's see what kicks can do. They've been playing very well so far, but John Graham has already played before, and John just seems like they have the download right now. They've just been so good on neutral and on offense. I would say on defense, too. We haven't even had to see them play any defense. It's all been neutral on offense from John Graham Blue so far on this Uno. And again, somehow we have collected more Master Unos than, like, Master Lodivas in the server. I, this was not the intention, but it's, it's what happens. So let's see. DP, nice. Just get off me, says Kix. Trying to get some breathing room here, but once again, that dive kick just converts into a combo so consistently from anywhere. You know what? Kix is, is going to have one brave point here. Are they going to die? I don't know. I don't think so. No, they're not. They're alive, but it's very close at this point. It's very scary, and they just, just get hit meaty there on the way down from John Granblue to take that first to, uh, first to two there. Very clean adaptations after that first game, or after that first set of the stream there from John Granblue to take it. Goddamn. We, you know what? I said we wanted to speed, through, uh, speed run through our top eight, and John Graham Blue was very much on board with that. That's going to be us, unfortunately. Kicks eliminated at seventh there, but very well played to them, still placing top eight in a tournament full of master rank players. Incredibly good stuff. And we're going to move on to the next match now of our loser side top eight. Anyways, and here is, yeah, we, again, yeah, we, we do. We have Uber Cheesecake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, anyway, I'm pretty sure I saw the, uh, the, the join notification there. Yeah, there you go. Anyways, we are back here on uh, loser side of top eight for our next match of our first round here. And we have Aster on the Beelzebub versus Blast Amber on the Uno. So once again, more Unos, more, more, more Unos. 
Let's see how it goes here. Like we have we have a surprising amount of Master Unos in this server. I believe we have, I guess, I we were talking about it. We were, we were tallying them up, counting sheeps. And we have three, I believe. So Let's see. We have uh, we had one successful Master Rank Uno here in our first match. Let's see if Blast can follow in those footsteps there and take down Aster here. This is a bit of a more... I could, I could imagine this matchup being a little bit more difficult, potentially, for uh, Beelzebub, right? Uno has a lot of moves that are very good against projectiles in general. One of those characters, again, that is very versatile, can play zoner if he needs to, can play rushdown or mix-up if he needs to, right? So we'll see how Aster gets on here. Pretty pretty solid stuff, though. Pretty solid stuff so far from Aster. Getting some early pressure here, but the Unisonic, heartbreaking, just whiffing clean. And Blast, very ready to punish that. Big combo coming out here, ending in Skybound Dart. Give me your gems. One gem here on Aster. Big damage, no gems on Aster, I lied. Yeah, now three Brave Point to zero advantage by Blast Hammer is going to be really good for him. He's kind of brave counter with some authority here. Not really have to worry about anything that Aster's doing. Ooh, clips him on the way down, but no conversion. Ultimate Unisonic is going to be a big combo start here. Oh, no. Drops it, unfortunately. does Aster. I think he could have gotten more off there. I'm not I'm not Beelzebub Elk for Expert, but now you're in chip distance versus Uno. This is a nightmare scenario. Uno has so many different nasty ways to chip you, or he can just run it in a 6XL. That works just fine, too. All right. First round goes to Blast Amber. Let's see. Round start surfboard that I believe actually could have been punished by Aster, but maybe just uh, wasn't quite ready for it. There again, it's top eight. It's loser side. We got some. We got definitely got some uh, some tense, some stress going on, especially in this first to two situation. So you can't really blame the players for occasionally. You know, things don't. Maybe they don't go exactly how they would if they had infinite time to react. So nature of fighting games. Oh yeah, that's the thing with those parries from Uno. The follow up comes out regardless. So you have to be ready to spot dodge or block the follow up and then punish him for it. Right. I like the throw there once again. That very. Uh, What's it called? That, that very that very meaning or mean looking throw from Beelzebub there. Nice conversion on the Karma into Skybound Art. Give me your gem, good sir. 3 to 2 now. Big health advantage from Aster 2. Text throw the correct way in that case. At the, very, at the very least, does blast. Normally, you'd rather do a tech with a button, but when you have so little health, the little bit of chip damage you take from teching the throw the wrong way, or the right way, rather, can be quite problematic. And, oh, nice rating strike conversion there. Out of nowhere, for blast, take that first game. We were talking about throw tech, and he said, no, let, me just, let me just seal up this first game real quick. God damn. Alright, let's see. Again, we're still rocking uh, first to two, best of three here. So, Aster does not have a whole lot of time to figure out oh, uh, Blast Hammer's neutral strategy here. Let's see. Nice, nice, nice. I like the, the, the shield. Get the hell off me. Yeah, but again, that EX Spear Thrust from Uno starts up so fast. It's going to be a little bit difficult, I think, for Aster to contest with his own projectiles. On the bright side, the cooldown art is quite long. He does have to, yeah, he has to wait without that to projectile for quite a bit after he does it. Oh, gets his Brave Counter baited, though, and giant dive kick star. We've seen this a lot before uh, from the other Uno in the bracket, and it's happening again. Deja Vu coming out from Honore here as Last Amber puts himself on set point. All right, Aster. What are you here for? Uno's a sleeper character? I mean, I think so. He's not, like, again, he's not, like, the strongest character in the world, but he's, like, firmly, like, somewhere in, like, the probably bottom half of the middle there, right? He's a strong character, man. He's got, he's got a lot of stuff that he can get to. Listen, you know, not enough people play him. And also, just the fact that he's not very not very represented means that a lot of people don't even know what this character does, right? No, he's, definitely, he's nowhere near bottom 5. Like bottom 12 or something? I don't know. But maybe. Ow. If you gave Uno big boobs, people would play him? Absolutely not. Not even bottom 10. That's right. Ow. He's low, high tier now, low key. I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm still not entirely sure how the, how the patch has affected him, but he was never a bad character. And Blast, of course, is a very competent pilot of him, causing a lot of trouble for Aster now here, as it's getting very scary. Your health is dwindling. The window's closing. You have very little time to figure out what you're going to do now against Blast, but I like to teleport there. Counters the Spear Thrust. It's going to be... Okay, hold on. If it was going to go well for him, it was going to start like this. Oh, counter hit doesn't get the hit confirmed, though. And the parry on the Karma. God damn. Solid choice there with uh, from Blast to take that game 2-0. We are speeding through this top 8 here, which is exactly how I want it to be, so... While I would like for some closer games, I'm also not going to be mad at all at some 2-0s. Very well played to both players, but that's going to be Aster, unfortunately eliminated. Again, 7th place in a tournament full of Master Rank Killers is very well done by NS++, so incredibly good stuff to Aster there. Victory. All right, yeah, Siegfried Lance near, exactly. Uh, we are back now with our first match of Winner's Side Top 8. We've got Fuselit versus Council here. Cagliostro Voss, the big body versus the Zoner. A tale as old as time. Let's see how Fuselit can adapt here. You have to think that on paper, this is probably pretty nice for Cagliostro. But again, especially when you get to players that are this beefy, Council a very strong Cag, and Fuselit, like, the, one of the boss ragas of all time. Uh, at this point, the player, even more than ever, matters a lot more than the character, right? So let's see what they can get up to here. A lot of attempted Brave counterbaits from Fuse there. 
Both these players have played each other a lot before, so maybe maybe uh, picking off on a potential, maybe Council does like to brave counter pretty often on his offense, perhaps. It's pretty early on here to be baiting that with a spot dodge so early. It is ooh, a pretty hard call out. Gets thrown out of the steppers though. Ow, ow. Okay. Big corner. Oh, and jumps the DP. So many times she's like catch people on the way down with that ultimate DP, and they just like they still get hit by it. Council with the reactions to jump it anyway, but gonna get caught out. Their J's creased by the big steppers there in that first round. Going to Council. Or rather, Fusel. Sorry. Okay, Battalion's round start. Out. Another Battalion. The Battalion's back to back. God damn. Swords is S. We're probably in a little bit of discussion in here. Swords is like, he's, he's, he's A. S for Swords, but like actually A, unfortunately. He's somewhere in A, I think. He's, he's, he's strong, for sure. Out. Okay, big corner combo coming out from Fusel here. Council getting Boyd in the corner. Let's see how they can. Oh, gets her toes clipped. Really solid timing there by Fusel. When they thought that Council tried to make a move, I believe Council got caught maybe trying to jump or just walk forward there. Guess their toes clipped. And that's going to be Fusel taking that first game. Very well played stuff. Okay. Oh, command grab. Your mob. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Nice counter hit there coming out from Council. Get some pressure going here. You definitely want to get those traps set up as Kag. Maybe actually, I guess, perhaps potentially in the Boss Raga matchup. It's more important to just keep him locked down. So yeah, you can't do that, right? So that could be why you just see Council more so just running at Fuse and going from there. You want, to, you want to not give Boss Rock an opportunity to get the Soul Forge set up. Because once he does have it, I imagine he can, he can really mess around with some of Kag's zoning a lot more than he otherwise could. Without it, oh my god, the whiffed overhead into the most disrespectful back throw in the whole game. Not going to get punished on that teleport, though. We're going to get some plus frames here. For, oh my god, is that going to be a kill? No, it's not. No, it's not. But big damage. Four fuse. Holds that. Oh my. Holds the EX Battalions so long. Council spot dodge is once. Spot dodge is a second time. And then gets smacked by that to put Fuselet on set points. Again, these top eight matches flying by. Was rocking him as best of threes until the finals here. Let's see what Council can figure out. Getting pushed to the corner early on here by Fuse. Gets a Soul Forge off that 5H. More important than a conversion, honestly. Soul Forge, very important for Basaraga in basically every matchup, especially this one. The X Fireball is going to be big, big damage. Not going to build Super. Going to get his Soul Forge back instead. Oh, and the ultimate Fireball. That's got to. Oh, I guess that's got to be death. You have to imagine, but no. He just doesn't quite get it. T takes your toes out from under you, though. The window rapidly closing here for Council. Got to figure something out fast here. The next hit could be the uh, win in the whole set for Fuselet. Okay, hold on. It's a good start, though. Side switch combo. Fuselet in the corner now. DP is so scary. And yep, the threat of DP causes Council to jump there. Fuselet ready for that option and immediately jumps up and air throws. Wild. Incredibly well-played stuff. That is going to be, unfortunately, with this with this best of three format here. Council sent down to loser side. Still got a chance, of course. Still got a chance. Uh, but Fuselet moving on to winner's finals here. All right, and here is our next match on winner's side. Top eight here. We're rocking Seika here on the Zeta versus Vasraga. Uh, Quirk on the Vasraga, that is. Another Vasraga. We got two Vasragas in top eight. Let's see if Quirk can uh, make their way over to potentially... Uh, the last time, I believe, they did get sent down to loser in a Vasraga team kill. Uh, by Fuselet. Let's see if they can try to get the run back here, but they gotta go through Zeta first. Ooh, misconversion on the 2H there, unfortunate. A bit of a weird timing for it, I suppose. The Zeta color goaded? I, I agree, I agree. I like the Zeta color. I do like how much customization you can get. Like, I feel like I very rarely do you run into two people who have, like, the same looking character uh, in this game. Like, one character has so many different combinations. It's very cool. Thank you, Psy Games. Very cool. Even though you are holding a gun to my head with this bracket, I I'll, I'll still forgive you. I can find it in my heart somewhere. Ow, ow. Okay. Solid pressure here from Seika. Out. Okay, DP's out of the corner. Quirk with one brave point and no meter and not a whole lot of health either. This is very scary. And 100 meter on Seika means that at any point, Zeta can just do that. Okay, okay, but hold on. Oh, counter hits. Oh, punish 6XL. Not going to lead to a ton. Parries the battalions, though. This should be death, I believe. Unless it's a drop. Yep, indeed it is. That U tackle from Basaraga is such big damage mid screen if you can land it and if uh, you can get that 2M confirmed. It's a little finicky. It's a little finicky, but uh, Quirk definitely experienced enough getting that there. Take that first game. Not bad. This, by the way, is the society, the the, the partners duel, right? The lore matchup. Some part, some society partners sparring here. Oh, armors through the uh, the parry, but still minus enough there that gets bonked by the follow up instead. Ow, ow. Okay, get your get your Jordan's creased. Oh, this is really scary though. Okay, but no, didn't have the full meter. Didn't have the meter to do the, the other uh, enough meter to do the other use skill. So that's throw bait wasn't quite as horrifying as it otherwise could be. 75 meter. That's about where Zeta starts to become a uh, Dark Souls boss. Oh, okay. Hold on. Parry a little bit uh, a little bit late. A little bit early, rather. So Quirk seeking their way in with the battalions there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. This could be pretty some pretty pretty nice damage coming out here from Seika. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty that's pretty good right there. Of course. 
Big steppers. Ooh, just runs up and throws him. No fear at all from Seika. Really stalled stuff there. Not gonna let the command grab give them the mind virus. And I might not have 50 meter, but I can do that throw bait just the same. It does slightly less damage, but you can definitely still catch these hands, catch this Arves, and take that second game. Or second round, rather. Okay. Ooh, nice 2U conversion after that. Get to the corner here again. Vasaraga, no meter, no soul forward, no five frame lights. This is a miserable, miserable situation. Seda not like the schmixiest character in the whole world outside of some Poco, Pogo shenanigans, but still kind of tough for Quirk to find their way out here. Has Soul Forge and meter for DP at the very least now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Soul Forge can help him try and sneak his way out of the corner. But once again, armoring through the, the follow up there, but the aerial afterwards is going to kill them anyways. And now big ultimate skill starter there. Nice about 40% damage in mid screen to Voss there, but it's going to be even bigger damage. He said, I like your mid screen damage. Here's mine. Oh my God. A huge conversion with that one brave point coming out from Quirk to just absolutely mangle Seika's HP. Let's see now. Suddenly anyone's game. This is going to be spooky. I believe this should be death. Indeed. Easily death with those. This is battle of the mid-screen ultimate skill combos, man. What in God's name? Seika taking that first game. Very well played stuff, but unfortunately, in the battle of the ultimate skills, she just got a little bit more juice in them skills. Hey, hey, I won. You lost. Being a very uh, good, good friend, good sparring partner there, a a, a a sore winner perhaps is Zeta. Look, it fits the character. I can't be mad at her anymore, man. After I learned how she helped out my uh, my, my my big my large draft man with some of his PTSD. At this point, Zeta has a special place in my heart forever. Oh, armor! Whoa, this armoring right through those RVS follow-ups. Really clever stuff by Quirk there. Obviously, I have to keep doing, have to either keep walking forward or doing a follow-up to not run out of hits on the armor. Oh, fool! Lots of distance on that EX command grab coming out from Voss. Reaches all the way over there and grabs Seika right out of the crib. Light battalions, not going to use up the Soul Forge, so clever stuff. Dodges the, or blocks the ultimate skill. Oh, creases the Jordans. Oh no, the Raging Strike whiffs. A little, a little too uh, early on the Meteor Raging Strike there. Seika answer with one of their own, but, oh, I guess he's gonna die for the trouble right here. Spot out is the Spear of Arvis. But still fine, still alive at the very least. I wouldn't say fine. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't say fine, but I was going to say still alive is Seika. Quirk now, taking that second, uh, the first round, the second game, trying to tie it up 1 1. Ow. Ooh, no, no Soul Forge on that means the projectile just blows them up clean. Whoa, this is a conversion I don't think I've seen before. At least I, at least I haven't taken, taken note of before. The aerial into the 2U, into the steppers there. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Soul Forge up here for Quirk, so could potentially try and do a little bit of uh, a little bit of robbery with some moves to get out of the corner here. Let's see. The armor is not a reversal, keep in mind, but it does start up pretty quick, so there's a gap. You can definitely armor through in a nasty way. I like the option there to just do the U follow up has infinite armor, so even if some oh no, a little bit too far on the reach there with the 2M. Right, strike not gonna make it, but yeah, that U follow up has infinite armor, so even if uh, something goes a little bit wrong there in terms of how the parry interacts, you can still keep armoring through it. So oh, this is a full conversion. God damn, I was not aware. Quirk, I think, has the kill here. Absolutely, they do. That's a really nice mid-screen hit confirm there from Quirk to take that, that second game. Tie us up 1-1. Both of these players playing incredibly clean, I feel like. Let's see who takes it out. You talk too much in battle, you talk too much in battle Zeta. That's true. She does go Arves over and over and over and over and over again. She's excited, man. She's excited. Let her be excited. Why can't she be... Well, a, a girl can't have fun when she's fighting? Ow. Ow. Fire. Infinite Wonder! Okay, good corner combo coming out, round start here. Oh, didn't actually miss, miss the catch. I believe Zeta can catch you on the way down there. But uh, maybe, maybe you've slightly missed time from Seiko. Still though, has Vosraga with no Soul Forge in the corner. Which means this is a very advantageous position for them. It's gonna be a... Oh, once again missed the catch, but it happens. Throw, now gonna be a 50-50 situation. Strike or throw gonna kill. Throw bait, most certainly gonna kill. Seven golden letters coming out there. Very dominant offensive round from Seiko to put themselves on set point in this top eight side here. Gonna have to go through another Vasaraga if they do win this. They'll be right over to Fuselet out of the frying pan into the fire, as it were. Ooh, once again, yeah, once again, though, that parry follow up so good against the steppers there. It, it, it will get armored through, but he'll be on the other side of him. He doesn't side correct, and you can just hit him with the aerial. Seika has a very good option in mind for that, clearly. Let's see how Quirk can adapt here. Fighting for their life now in winner's side, at the very least. If they lose this, they will still be in it, but they will be going down to make a loser's run. Trying to get revenge at some point later in the bracket. Ow. Okay, the big steppers. What's the answer? Ooh, gets anti-aired by the light follow-up there. Okay. Nice soul for into the U charge. God damn. 
Look at these. It, 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 it confirms really are uh, pretty pretty good here. I, I, a lot of these routes, I feel like I'm not I'm not seeing that often. Uh oh, though. Reacts to the command grab with SBA. Not the worst in the world, but obviously some nice damage, a brave point off of Quirk, and a little bit of corner position uh, gained for sake, or a little bit of better screen position, I suppose, out of the corner rather. That charge heavy is going to use up Soul Forge. Kind of a spooky time to be alive now. You gotta, you gotta find a way to get it back up. If your name's Quirk, there you go, and back up it is. Oh, and Vosaraga's two eggs, unfortunately, straight ass. I hate to inform you, that two eggs is pure poo poo, and Sake's gonna be taking a big advantage of that. I think they convert into Skybound Arc here, right? Oh no, combo limits, but the throw not gonna matter. I'm going to take that game for Sake regardless. A little bit of an unfortunate drop there, but they make, they make it work out. They make it work out. Still, still, still works as they take that game or that whole set there, two one. All right, Quirk, of course, still in this, but now has to go down to your side and try and uh, work their way through to get some revenge. And Seika is on the way to go fight Fuselet once we get back to get back around to winners finals there. All right, and here we are with our next match on loser's side of Top 8. And we have Blast Tamber versus Council here. And Blast, normally an Uno player, but does have a Zeta. He does main, for all intents and purposes, Spear characters. So uh, I, I guess he prefers Zeta in this matchup a little bit. Maybe he doesn't like the, the Uno Kag matchup that much. Let's see how it works out for him here. Council, of course, is no ordinary cat, so you're gonna have to put your work in regardless of what the matchup is. Try and take it take it home here. Ooh, and it's a big counter hit starter here. Okay, no, doesn't get a whole lot out of it. Does Council. Good for Blast there, and the throw baits. Oh no, mistimes it though. Doesn't get to the second Spear of Arvis to connect. Ow. Okay, nice tech from Council. Arvis just running away there with the, the follow-ups. Pierce. Okay, text it. The red way from Council. Arvis once like, oh, is this gonna, wait, is this gonna work? No, no, okay, like, is it, does it like track to where you are? No, it just shows up right where Kag is. So Blast, very, very safe there. Council maybe a, either a misinput or wasn't sure how that, how that was gonna work, just kinda like, I wasn't either. No meter to follow up with the Raging Chain though. So Blast still alive here, but almost, not quite at ship yet, by the way, has a little bit more, has like two HP. They could block one more, oh no, they could block one more special and be fine. Uh oh. Still on a chip, by the way. Oh, nice, nice by Blast there to survive that long. Right, doesn't panic, doesn't let the uh, health disadvantage get to them. Kind of poking out at Council there and managed to make a little bit of a comeback there and take that first round. Okay, let's see. Some wild beat action from Zeta there, doing her best Vayne cosplay. The baby Arvis, still a good punish for people to, uh, who are just coming in with a big committal normal like that. Like Kag's Leapfrog. Oh, throws the parry. Good stuff. Okay. Cross up normal, gets Brave Count for his trouble. At least it's out of the corner. And here's another attempt. Is he gonna, yeah, it's gonna work out for him this time. This is, oh, gonna be, I was gonna say, gonna be big damage, but again, unfortunately, a little bit of a, a drop there, I think, anyway, from Blast. I'm not sure if you meant to do that. Regardless, though, it's working out in Council's favor right now. Brave Counter, get off of me. He's still got the ultimate skills, but a clean jump over from Council. Not quite gonna kill, but that whiff throw from Blast is going to be enough. Council seals the deal. Parry, round start. Oh my god, it worked? What the hell? You know what? You gotta respect it. It's like round start super jump. If it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. Oh, once again, throw bait there. Nice. It actually leads into a big combo too. Even Or not big combo, but a combo. Even even outside of the ultimate skill. So still pretty nice there from Zeta. Punches Kag in the mouth. Gets the traps out of there. He's gonna give him enough meter for Skybound Dart. Oh, or he's gonna use the ultimate skills instead, I suppose. Alright, Council does not fall for any empty jump low shenanigans. Brave counting out of the corner. Ooh, you trap, scary stuff. Ultimate infinite wonders there. Not gonna work out quite for blast. Just spending meter. You trap. Okay, that's honestly like this. That was far, far worse things have happened for Kag putting out the you trap in the corner like that. So if you're blast, you gotta you gotta breathe a sigh of relief. It's kind of it just kind of triggers and nothing bad, nothing too bad happens anyway. Oh man, this runs up throw. I mean, you, you gotta know that the throw bait is on everybody's mind right now. Oh, Toilet does not get a counter hit. It would've been a full combo there, but the parry does recover in time. Gets out of the startup frames in time. Just run up 6XL from Blast. I'm gonna call out Council doing something there and take that first game. God damn. Remember, we're not in uh, winners or losers finals yet, so we are still rocking the best of three format. So Council could be facing elimination here if Blast wins this next game. Looking real clean on the Zeta so far too, so let's see. Fire! Oh, Pierce. I need, to, I, need to get a, I need to mod the game, so every time Kagliostra does that, it just it plays the JP Pierce voice line. Oh. Wow. Ooh, gets throw baited by that too. So that, that EX teleport, I believe, I've had to try and figure that out for myself recently. 
Basically, if you're just crouching and doing nothing else, it actually just whiffs on you straight up, and you can get a pretty easy punish once Calgoso teleports to the other side of you. If you're doing anything, though, it's a counter hit, and it's a full combo. It's a very, very scary combo starter there. And throw baits from Cag, and this R is Magna. Going to kill. Indeed it will. I wasn't sure for a second, but I, I shouldn't have doubted the damage out of that super, especially with only one Brave Point on Blast Timber. As Council takes that first round of the second game. That's what makes it annoying, it beats Delay Tech. Yes, it is very, very scary to de Delay Tech against Cagliostro, which makes her throw game a lot a lot scarier, right? Suddenly, is like a real a real grappler, because you have to react to her throw, basically. <laughs> Ow. Okay, ooh, guy doesn't get hit by the overheads there. Again, with those traps over your head, there's a bit of a gun pointed to it. Any any stray hit by Cag could be a bit a much bigger combo than you might otherwise expect. Blocks toilet, doesn't get a punish, but at least doesn't get, take any damage. And Council basically spends 50 meter there to stay in the corner. Pogo. No big combo, but still more plus frames and more corner position. Harry's not gonna quite work out there. That's right. Yes, Cag's pressure is very scary. You know, if he has traps out to take the throw and you get comboed for it, so. It's a, it's a man, I'm telling you, it's a very scary character. Uh, definitely, I think, was very easily in the top 10, almost top 5, and again, did not show up to court for the patch notes. So very funny. Well, little was not even mentioned by name in the patch notes, so very funny stuff. Regardless, you trap coming out now. Ooh, 2 H. That is run up 2 H. I guess maybe a hard call out on a potential uh, Arvis there, right? But doesn't quite work out for them as Blast gets to set point here. The fact you didn't get changed still grinds my gears, Jim. Listen, Blau got, for all intents and purposes, it was a bug fix, but it was, for all intents and purposes, a buff. And I think Blau was even better than Kag, so I'm just not going to question the patch anymore. Uh, it's, it's, it's Dice Case Vision, okay? Ow. Alright, good corner position starting out the round from Blast here. Ooh, that's going to be big count. Oh, big combo start into the trap, too. Looking like a Velkoz main right now, doing geometry. Is Council, but gets bopped by this. No, not enough meter for the rest of the follow-up, though. 2% short was Blast. I think they, that them whiffing that would look like a 5H or something there. It was probably a sign of them expecting they had enough meter there, but it's not quite enough. Still, though, gets them out of the corner, gets them some good damage. Okay. Right up in your face there. That uh, spear, by the way, I believe is actually, it's like minus 7 or something. Uh, but I think the pushback means it's usually safe on block. League reference colon D. I've been in the mines. I've done my time in hell. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm clean now. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I have my days. Top, top main, shout out. Oh god, full combo from Council. Again, that throw bait, that EX teleport is so good, man. It is so good. It beats, it beats, it beats any kind of tech. So that's going to give Council that round there. Full combo. And now it's 1-1. One, one. Blast is look, staring down the barrel of potential reverse 2-0 here, if you're not, not careful. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, the patch. The patch was a. Uh, the patch was definitely a step in the right direction. I don't think. I don't think any. I don't think anyone can argue that anything. Pretty much everything in the patch, I think, was fine. It just like was maybe a bit of a small step. But again, that makes sense. They're gonna do probably a, a couple of other patches. They don't want to like throw. They don't want to like explode everything right away, right? There's also some pretty big universal changes to uh, to, to 66L things like that. It, 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 they clearly they know they. I think besides again besides like Agliostro and Belial, I feel like they have a pretty good idea of which characters are very strong, right? So they're, they're gonna keep they're gonna keep working on it they're gonna keep moving in the right direction I, I believe in the developers but yeah for now we will move on here as, uh, as council getting some ooh, really nice corner pressure not, not corner pressure even a corner combo with that ex hit thrust and that is going to put them on set points last this lead slipping away from them a little bit but you know they're gonna have to just put it behind them get their mental uh stacked as it were get their mental all all sorted out and try to uh hold on here and not drop any of these rounds in this final game versus council Ferris. Trap is so menacing there. Just, oh, there you go. Yeah, I was going to say, kicking the trap, getting rid of it, just makes it so much easier. And that EX hip thrust is going to be very punishable. Council does like doing it quite, I've noticed quite a bit. Maybe it's a call out to people matching buttons from uh, more of that mid range distance, right? But Blast not falling for it that time. Blocking it and getting a full, nice little punish and some corner position for his trouble. Arvis there. Not going to lead to much, but at least keeps Council in the corner. Council teleporting back into the corner. And once again, man, that EX teleport showing its strength as such a great throw bait option. And even delay tech bait, right? Getting some nice... Oh my god, he counter hits the parry follow-up. What in the world? Okay, that's not what I uh, expected there. You trap. Raging Strike gonna connect. Looking really scary now. Four Blast. Basically needs one of these throw baits to land, and Council is very aware of that. Plays it a little bit safe. Ooh, doesn't punish the EX hip thrust, and gets bopped into Raging Strike for his trouble. This will be Council making that comeback, taking it uh, with the reverse 2-0. Taking that set 2-1. Very well played to both players, but Council, as, as the set went on, kind of got the adaptation there and took it home.
incredibly good stuff all right all right there you go i'm back just have to blow my nose real quick had some stuffy nose issues going on but we are here with our winners finals of the brackets this is, by the way reminder this is now officially our this is our first best of five here this will be a first of three same with losers finals and same with grand finals and we have fuselet here on the vasaraga as always versus the uno Uno again, highly, highly represented, not underrepresented at all, unlike uh, what, what you might normally expect, right? But we do have, uh, oh my God. Wait, no, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, this is a winner's finals at all. Why am I stupid? Oh, we're, 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 we're in, I, I, I saw the Vosteraga and I thought Fuselet. I got, I got schmixed. I was like, wait a minute, Uno, Seika doesn't play Uno. Seika plays, Seika plays, uh, Seika plays Zeta. Anyways, ignore the thing I just said. We're not at best of five yet. This is still a best of three. As we have Quirk on the Vosteraga. I almost got the Fuselet schmix there. Uh, versus John Granblue on the Uno. Okay. All that being said, ow. Oh, I am muted. Look at this. Every everything's going, everyone's going to hell. You guys saw, I, I started recording. I, I was muted for the Discord, though. Oopsie. Um, you guys missed me completely misidentifying the match and saying this was uh, Fuse Lit versus Seika. I, have some, I was like, wait a minute, Seika doesn't play Uno. What the hell is going on here? I had to blow my nose real quick. That's why, uh, that's why I, all, all of this, all of the shenaniganry happened. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Everything's good. Everything's fine. We're here. It's uh, we're still we're still rocking the best of threes. We're on loser's side of top eight. We've got Quirk versus John Granblue, and they. Oh my God! And goddamn counter hit six six H is always such a scary jump scare uh, to get hit by there. I'm gonna give Quirk that first round. The nose is a stream sniper. It got him good. That's right. That's right. Having having too much uh, having too much dairy, you know, makes my nose all stuffy. The nose is a paid actor, perhaps. Okay, rolling through the spear thrust there. No, yeah, no soul forge up from Quirk right now. Oh my God. Roll forward into throw. Ah, oh, but gets throw baited by that big old dive kick. Big old dive kick. You missed, you missed the time when Andre could crash the game. I mean, listen. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta you gotta trade between the dopamine you get from your game being a kusoge and just like you know the dopamine you get from being able to play your video game. We have to. I drink only two glasses of milk every day. Don't you dare blame the dairy. I'm not blaming the dairy. I'm just saying it, it contributes. It contributes. Dairy definitely you know it makes it makes it makes it stuffier if you're already a little bit on, of the way there. Anyways, oh speaking of stuffing. Quirk stuffing out that neutral there from John Grambu with their big ol' U tackle. Get some nice damage here, some corner carry, and also an opportunity to get Soul Forge back up. Every Vosaraga's dream, fool, gets thrown in the corner there. Now, anything will kill. Are you blocking this? I think you are. Looks like they are. Indeed, they are. Should be basically just, yeah, easy little punish there for Quirk. I believe, technically, it's a little bit easier to uh, just spot dodge that twice. Yeah, I personally spot dodge there. I, I I agree, but it worked out. Vasaraga's normals are big enough that with the uh, with the, with the with how minus that is, you can just hit a medium and uh, and and commit some murder. So it worked out just fine. Walking all over the poor Uno. Well, you know, Vasaraga does like to crease your Jays. Ooh, round start or not round start? Just immediate command grab there as an OK option. You love to see it. Brave kind of got the hell off of me. Oh oh nice. Yeah, the parry option. You got to remember the parry follow-ups from Uno always come out there. So even if the if the parry whiffs, you have to be ready to wait for the follow-up and then punish it. Quirk doing exactly that, and seven golden letters, immediate set points here for Quirk. Really strong stuff. They desperately want to get that run back there. Head all the way over to winner's side. All right. Jumps over the spear thrust into a 2M conversion. Again, really solid, lots of really solid mid-screen hit conversions here. I don't think it's nice of Voss to crease Jays with his shoe game is this horrid? He's jealous. If he can't have good shoe game, nobody can. Out. Slam down to earth there is Quirk. Nice, cool-looking corner combo there from John Granblue, but gets DP for his trouble. Now Quirk has Soul Forge up, they're out of the corner, and the monster is on the loose. I ain't talking about Gecko. I ain't talking about some Gen Z with green hair. Ulti ulting you down B site. Oh, get grabbed, nerd. Fool. All right. Oh, yes, but Tom's going to get parried twice there into a full punish combo from John Granblue. Really good awareness there. Using his parry to its utmost and getting that Spear Thrust U conversion. Keeping themselves alive for now. Let's see. John Grand Blue trying to trying to stay alive. Monster on the loose. That is minus. Oh, but covers it with the parry. Solid, solid stuff there from John. What the hell? Okay, well, unfortunate stuff for Quirk, but now finding themselves getting their ass beat in the corner. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, just fall for the throw bait that time, but it is still plus on block. You gotta watch out for that. Gets ticks thrown for his trouble. That looks pretty minus. What, whatever the hell that just was right there. I have to imagine that's pretty minus, but who knows? I, I'm no, I'm, I gotta get, go check Uno's dust loop. Ask uh, AKA Blast Hammer. I gotta go ask him if that's minus. Ow. Let's call out with the 5H into another tick throw situation here. Oh, and the Brave Counter gets baited into a Raging Strike, and John Granblue 
going to take that second game, keep themselves alive here, and potentially put themselves on the, on the path to eliminating Quirk. Let's see. Let us see. Got the Prismatic Spear there on the Uno. Got the Bling, as it were. You might have cursed him. Listen, Fumbler. Uh, as, as, the, as the commentator, I have to believe the commentator's curse is not a thing. Otherwise, I would just feel so bad so much of the time. So don't worry. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure Quirk will be just fine. Ow, ow. Okay. Ooh, guess the, guess the conversion on the JL that time. Counter hit makes it a lot easier to do into the ultimate projectile into the EX Battalions. Works out just fine there. The big steppers takes your toe out from under you. Ooh, fool. Jumps over the command grab. Doesn't get punished for it, at least it does Quirk. So they're still doing all right here and jumps over the spear thrust into a big old punish of their own. This shouldn't be death, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think Basaraka has these. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of damage, but it's not quite death. Oh my god, and just calls out the 5H with his own. God damn. Getting absolutely crushed there, Uno, by the giant size. And now Quirk, on set point, once again. The most disrespectful back throw in the entire game. Starts this round off in a very clean fashion here for Quirk, as they get into the corner, or get uh, uh, John Granblue into the corner, that is. Brave kind of get the hell off me. Keep that offense going. Oh, gets jumped over for the trouble, though. That is one of the problems with big steppers. Especially as people get closer to you, it gets a little bit harder to anti-air there, and if they turn around, Vlasraga does not side correct. Flash on the battalions there, and get punished for his trouble. Parry once again, no full combo, but at least keeping uh, John Grand Blue safe there. Run up throw. John's been doing great with this throw game. Okay, safe, but not. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because Onre's far L is actually far enough to punish that in six frames. Fair enough. Doesn't get a, a huge conversion off of it unless he does a Raging Strike, though. Maybe something that uh, John Grand Blue there will try to keep in mind for next time. There might not be a next time, as Quirk is just absolutely bullying them in the corner here. Nope. Nice, nice, nice jump over. Doesn't get the full conversion, though, on that punish. Bit of a scramble situation now for John Granblue. They gotta find a way here to stay alive, but ultimate projectile from Basaraga is just so goddamn fast and so goddamn damaging. That's going to be Quirk taking that set there and eliminating John Granblue from the bracket. Desperately wants that run back versus Seika. Maybe even to go fight their big brother Fuselet there in Grand Finals winner's side, potentially. Potentially. All that being said, it is in fact time for Seika and Fuselet, as we mentioned it. So let's move on to the our winner's finals. All right, here we are for real this time. I got it wrong the last time, but we're actually in winner's finals now. So we have Fuselet on the Vasaraga versus Seika here on the Zeta. Keep in mind, this being winner's finals, this means this is our first uh, actual best of five set here. So we're gonna have a little bit more time for these players to play each other and uh, and learn their habits, adapt, etc. Instead of the first two just absolute sprints that have been happening so far. Of course, winner of this set also goes on to put themselves in winner's side of grand finals, which for the most part, basically means that unless something horrible goes wrong, you will probably win the tournament. It is such a huge advantage to have to lose two sets in a row to lose there in Grand Finals winner's sides. So both of these players definitely coveting that position. Let's see how it goes. Really great start by Seika so far, though. Gets that uh, ultimate Arvis there into big damage. Now corner pressure on Fuse. Gets the toes taken out, though. Fuse so good at that. Guess, oh, blocks at that time, but predictable. Fool, you're mine. Command grab. Hitting Seika there, giving Fuselet some room to breathe. Actually, room to breathe. Gets him all the way to the other corner after a couple of interactions there. Oh, but the spot dodge gets punished. Gets their legs taken out from under them. Unless you're me. What are you talking about? Why am I getting added here? Good stuff by Seika, though. That punish on the spot dodge. Let's take that first game. Barry wants to go our first round, rather. Get a little bit ahead of myself. Get a little bit ahead of myself. Ow. Ooh, the legs once again. Fuselet's so good with that 2M, man. This, like, chops you down. And goes into these, these big old medium, oh, big old 2M hit confirms. Okay, dodges the infinite wonder. Doesn't even want to take a, not even a modicum. Not even a, 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 a little bit of chip. Not even a ton of chip. Forgot your Paragon win? I don't even know what's going on. I have no contest what's happening in the chat. You guys think that, you say, yeah, I think I have as much time to read the chat as you guys do. Oh, God. Okay, gets thrown there. Solid corner pressure coming out from Seiko once again here. Okay, UDP. Get the hell off me. Give me some breathing room. Soul Forge back up. Fusel can now officially start cooking. You can now start chefing. You said it's impossible to win lose side. That's why I did. I said it's almost impossible. It's a, it's a huge advantage. I mean, hell, we in 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 yesterday's intermediate brackets, the person who was on winner's side of, the, of grand finals lost, right? Spoiler if you haven't watched the video, but you know that's come on. It's your fault at this point. Um, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh God, that raging strike is not going to connect, and that is going to be a nice easy peasy little hit confirm for Fuselet there to tie it up one one. Damn, you got spoiled. I'm sorry, Fumbler. Blame Lazy. Lazy, Lazy did this to you. Okay, EX projectile round start. Gets the Soul Forge up. Once again, that's where Fuse can start chefing. Making this, yeah, loop these Soul Forges over and over. You know what? I said Fuse to keep the Soul Forge off. 
and wants to wants to rather just doesn't want to give up the neutral for it. The big steppers. Oh, get your Jordan's creased. Unfortunately, once again, Basraga is desperately jealous of everybody's shoe game. So if he can't have cool looking shoes, nobody can. Seika. Oh, that nice, nice hold on the light follow up there. Grabbing Seika right out of the air. And the it with a little bit of spooky mind game stuff in the corner. Takes that first game. Still, though, a best of five. So we do have quite a little bit of, uh, of, of Grand Blue still left to play in this winner's finals. At the very least, two more games. We'll have to see, though, how it goes. Harvest running away there. Infinite Wonder gets rolled through. Good timing from Fuse. Not letting the delays really catch him out. Brave counter, get off me, says Seika. Ooh, nice run of delay there. Counter hits, potentially a delay tech from Fuse Lip there. Giving themselves some corner pressure, some ooh, some damage, and some medium air grab to grab them right out of that parry follow-up. Solid reactions there by Fuse to do that. Yeah, that's the thing though. Ooh, I guess that's the thing. Boss does not side correct if he just jump over the steppers, but Fuse was ready. And ultimate DP'd at the first sign of trouble there. Ow. Okay, 5H. Oh, this is gonna punish, I believe, right? They should be Projectile Invincible. Yeah, that's right. Nice little, not a huge chunk of damage there, and doesn't even take the Brave Point, because it, it didn't uh, it didn't hit from up close, but still. Gets Seika out of the corner, at least, and does a little bit of damage to that giant Vosraga health bar. Nice throw. Okay, what's the move here? Doesn't quite have enough meter for the full throw baits, right? Doesn't have the 75. They need for the double Arves. He's gonna get grabbed on the way down from their jump instead, as Susa takes that another, another round there. Up a game, up a round. Let's see what Seika can do here to adapt as we go forth. Round start EX Projectile has been very consistent from Fuselite. I guess it is a pretty strong option, right? Starts up pretty quick, controls a lot of the ground space. Obviously, you can hard caught up or trying to jump over it or something, but that's a big risk in and of itself. Good, though. Great starts the round. All that being said, from Seika. Does the little fake pogo there. Fuse does not fall for it, does not get high low. Ow. And fights his way out of the corner. Not a ton of damage on either player just, just yet. Relatively even so far is the match. Brave counter, of course, still plus six, even if you block it. They really wanted this mechanic to be quite strong. Even though Seika blocked that, it was still Fuselip's turn. Oh my god, and the hard callout with 236U there. I think you're gonna do something. I think you're gonna hit a button, and I don't think you should. Says Fuselip, and oh my, speaking of hard callouts, gets that command grab with the ultimate Arbus. It's gonna be big damage. Big, big. I mean, Vosaraga's got a lot of health, but even to Vosaraga, that is painful, man. And you gotta worry about the DP, though. One ultimate DP will certainly kill or. Ultimate projectile into 6-6-H. What a strange conversion. But it was stylish as hell. And it works out perfectly for Fuse there to take that second game. Okay, we are still best of five, though. Officially, we are winners finals. So you have at least one more game to play here. Let's see what our players get up to. Seika, pondering. Randy Orton, slithering. Let's see what they uh, let's see what they decide to do. No rematch, potentially. Let me make sure that I... Okay, I haven't fallen out of spectate, so I think that was actually a no rematch sort of uh, deal there. Seika might switch to Nier. Nope, nope, sticking on the Zeta. They still, they believe in the Zeta. Perhaps it's taking a quick little break there to collect themselves, calm themselves, and try to now climb this mountain that is a potential reverse 3-0 on Fuselet. Seika stay Zeta. That's exactly what they seem to be doing. Exactly what they seem to be doing. Don't you just love little guy? I love little guy. I'm a big fan of little guy. Infinite Wonder! Right through it with the big steppers. Grabs your toes with the medium follow-up there. Battalions and now suddenly not a great start to the round here for Seika. As they get pushed to the corner early on, and now this big old boss corner pressure. Command grab, it's getting it's, it's all of a sudden it's really quickly, it's getting real scary. Ooh, goes for the hard call on a jump there, I suppose. Those fuse it. Or maybe the wrong command grab, maybe wanted light and got medium. But regardless, that medium command grab eats nothing but air. He just got bopped for it, but still had enough of a health lead, had enough of a lead from earlier on in the match. That little bit of damage he took doesn't really bother him. Snipes out Seika's legs with another 2M. Puts himself on set point. Two. Let's see. If <laughs> Plumber trying to do the commentary's curse again on Fuselet. Rooting for Seika here, I suppose. Out, out. Okay. Soul Forge in the corner. Oh my god, holds it all the way. Seika not going to flinch, though. That command grab going to beat out Spot Dodge. You got to remember, always, Spot Dodge is only Strike Invincible. And I think Projectile Invincible too, I guess. But not not, not Grab Invincible. Grab those beat Spot Dodge straight up. So that Spot Dodge there by Seika. Getting blown up by the uh, Great Scythe, the EX Great Scythe there. Ooh, but that Command Grab's gonna whiff. Clean. A chance to for Seika here. Gets Ultimate DP for their trouble though. Still got a lot of room to play with here. Nice screen position for them. Got enough meter to do the whole Arvest nonsense too. Oh, nice. Fix the correct follow-up there to beat that parry follow-up. Does Fuse. 
It's a really good uh, mid-screen conversion here. God damn, it's a really good mid-screen conversion from Seika. Some really solid damage of what was just a, a, a tiny little tap there in an anti-air or air-to-air -air situation. But oh no, gets clipped by 236U and that's gonna do it as Fuse takes that set 3-0. Very, very well-played stuff. He moves on to Grand Finals, winner's side. God damn. The steam train is crashing through the station. So let's see. Let's see if anybody can stop this uh, this, this train here that is Fuse. It's gonna be hard at this point with that Grand Finals winner's advantage. Well played to both players. Seika, of course, still gets a chance here. Drop down to the other side of the brackets and has to try and get the revenge on Fuse here after they make a run. All right, and here's our next match with the side top eight here. This is right before Loser's Final, so Loser's Semi-Final. So this is not yet uh, best of five. Right? This is gonna be another best of three. We drop down here temporarily. So you got Council and Quirk. Some more boss Raga shenaniganry going on here. Lots of boss representation in the high level of this bracket here. Oh god. Doesn't fall for the throw bait. Does work. Stays alive there. Fool. Predictable. You're mine. Grabs Council right out of their, their crouch block there. Does quirk. Solid stuff. Take a quick drink real quick. Don't mind me. Next wall brawl, everybody just fights Fuse and the winner gets to be champion. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Ooh god, that overhead from Kag making her airborne temporarily. Going to beat out the DP clean there. For fortunately for Quirk, there were no traps placed down. So at the end of the day, just got smacked and wasted the commuter. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. You trap holding them in place there. Instant overhead attempt from Council doesn't quite work out for them. And now, this should be death, I believe. Even without, yes, even without the Raging Chain follow-up. Nice stuff from Quirk there. Taking that first round. Uh, for the little top eight uh, image, Rice Rat. Who do you want to be represented as? Out. Okay. Traps cleared. Once again, as long as Kag doesn't have any traps on the field, he's like a lot less scary. Uh, aside from, of course, the throw bait, right? Really holds that EX Battalions once again. But again, Council not gonna flinch. Gonna wait out the whole thing. Overhead not so bad, again, with no traps out. It's a little bit of bonk. A little bit of screen position, more than anything. Four Kag. Ah, there he is. Here's where things get bad, though. When anything touches you and there's a trap on the field, suddenly, it's all... Ooh, nice block on the overhead that time. Did the quirk, or but from quirk there. Been pretty bad again because there was a trap out, so would have been a lot of damage. Not a counter hit, at least. Not a counter hit, so no no full combo off the toilet there for Council. Works out decently for Quirk there, it's all things considered. Now, both players very low on health. Recovers in time there out of the big steppers, so not get punished, but that is going to be a counter hit on the start of a battalion's no soul forge on the side of Quirk there. So it gets bopped clean out of it by Council to take us to 1 1. Out. Out. All right, Pierce. I like the patience from Quirk. Yeah, Far Edge is such a good button too. Coming out of Council there. Oh, just gets the punish, but no confirm off the JL there, unfortunately. Some just relentless pressure coming out from Council here, but Quirk finds their spot. Brave counters eventually, but no, just gets the command grab. Guest gets jumped on. Now even more big damage coming out here. Trap set up. This is the worst case scenario. That throw now is gonna be a full combo. It's exactly why you can't afford to take the throw versus Cavi Ostro, especially at least if the traps are out, right? He has a very scary throw tech, and if he gets thrown, it could be a lot of damage, but here's also a lot of damage. His goddamn reversal super skybound art. Come out of quirk here, of course. Council very, very, very easily alive, but with no brave points, one bad touch come out of quirk here. Could be their doom. Armors right through the U trap, but unfortunately gets counter hit there on the, I believe that was a 6XL. Uh, or actually, no, what was that, what was that? I, I, I didn't clock, I wasn't paying enough attention to what Cagliostro looked like. Regardless, counters out, Quirk trying to match the button there, and Council takes that first game. Ow. Flash round start happens. Nice throw tech there from Council. Probably, honestly, probably just mashing a button to try and attack Quirk, but it worked out regardless. EX hip thrust, getting them all the way to the corner here. Soul Forge up for Quirk, so a bit more of a defensive uh, a defensive world for them. Oh, tries to, I, I, you hate to see that, right? So they tried to go for the, the close L right away. And then spot dodge to made a brave counter, but actually council just got bopped by the close cell. Hard to hit confirm that off of one button. Right. Ooh, that's a punish. Yeah, really up close like that. Medium battalions is going to be like minus eight or something. It, 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 it can be plus uh, if you space it out, but from how close Quirk did it, it was punishable. Council taking advantage of that. Not a huge punish, but it happens. Okay, the U steppers chip distance now for Quirk on. Ooh, nice spot dodge on council. Oh, but the raging strike. You're never quite ready for it. It's a scary, scary option with no brave points and a bunch of meter on the side of Council. There's going to be one dead quirk. This Council puts themselves on set points. Remember, again, this is not Loser's Finals. This is Loser's Semi-Finals. So, 
we are rocking another best of three here. Or gotta figure something out, and fast, or the run back versus Seika is looking to be in jeopardy. Okay. Ow, my face. Nice jump in. It's gonna be a lot easier to convert off that one than JL. Nice, the into the U fireball into the EX battalions. Really good damage, and gets the Soul Forge back up. Gets her toes out from under her. What the? 6 xm Huh? I mean, that's gotta be a, that's gotta be some sort of uh, misinput of some kind, I have to imagine. But if, unfortunately for Quirk, close only counts on horseshoes and hand grenades, and now they're getting you trapped into the dirt. I don't think they're gonna die. Yeah, no, not no, not enough meter on uh, council to confirm that. But now it's just it's so awful. Ooh, you know, no, uh, no meter for. I was gonna say no meter for council though, so no reversal. Can they can they kill from here? I think so, right? One button into command grab. Absolutely, they can. That might have been buffs coming through there. Medium command grab is a little bit more damage at the end of combos now. Scales a little bit less. So Quirk staying alive, takes that round. Gives himself another chance to potentially try and make a comeback here. Versus council armors right through the Pierce. Pierce, Pierce, staying alive. Now council in the corner. Looking to teleport out, I'd imagine. But, ooh, man, Quirk right in their face. It's got to respect that air approach from Kag so much, man, in case she teleports and kills you for it. Ow. Ooh, overhead, okay, but no traps out. Not a big deal. Back throw again. Boss Rock's back throw, so brutal. Oh, and the Brave counter gets eaten up by the 236U. Not quite going to work out uh, wonderfully for Quirk, but still, at least waste a Brave point on Council's part and does some damage for them. Overhead there again, not that big of a deal with no trap there, but now there's a trap above your head there. It's a gun pointed to it. Okay, nice. 2M. Catches the toes out from Council. Big damage. Quirk needs one more touch, potentially, to kill here. New trap is scary business, though. You don't really don't want to be anywhere near that. And I think Council's going for a run-up throw there. Maybe expecting Quirk to be a little bit passive, a little bit scared, but no such fear from Quirk. They just called him in on the way out, or called him out on the way in. There he goes. Those are words. That's English. And they tie us up one-to-one -one here. Really, really clean stuff. Out. Oh, back throw into the trap? No, not quite. Not quite in range there, but yeah. The trap on the overhead is going to lead to a full combo regardless. One way or the other, Council's going to convert that trap into a full combo. They manage it, but now, big combo coming out of... Ooh, big combo coming out of Quirk. Gets them a little bit of Oki here. Off the medium command grab, too, but gets clipped by the 2L into an immediate raging strike. Probably solid buffering there going on by Council. Overhead did not land that time. And punishable on block is that overhead. That is one thing to keep in mind, right? The overhead does obviously give Cagliostro a full combo if there is a trap there, or at least all oh, combo. It's not like the biggest combo in the world, right? But it's also punishable on block. Oh, back throw once again. Oh, this is heartbreaking stuff. A little too early on the command grab. I'm going to whiff on the wake up invincibility frames there. Gets turned into a goddamn golden statue. And Council is once again on set point. Let's see. Let's see. Quirk did a good job surviving last time, but again... Every, every single opportunity here, is, it just gets scarier and scarier the more times you have to fight for your life. 6XL. Boss Rock a 6XL, not exactly the scariest thing in the world, but it's gotten a little bit better. post patch. Ow, ow. Big starter here. 2H into Battalions. Whoa, I like that. I like really like that route. This felt meaty, you know? Every single one of those hits feels like it really hurt. You can't, you can't believe you're saying this, but you don't want to fight Kag? Well, Seika, looks like you might get your, uh, your dream here. This is looking not so bad for Council so far. Got Quirk in the corner. Obviously, HP disadvantage, but yeah, exactly. The screen position is just so good for them. These two big old combos now. One more touch is probably going to do it. I have to imagine. Oh, no. That can't have been intentional there from Council. But it doesn't matter. With the trap out, throws will lead the combos. And that's going to be 2-1 for Council. Unfortunately for Quirk, eliminating them from the tournament. This is not a best of five. Keep in mind, we are still rocking good old best of threes here. It's not losers finals. So, I believe maybe there's some confusion on the part of our players here. But, uh, it should be. Wait, huh? Am I confused? This loses finals? It shouldn't be. Loser's finals should be Seika versus, uh, Council at this point, right? Looks like they're playing it out anyway. Uh, you know? This was the warning I had. I, I, I did, I did, I maybe I, I did say, maybe I should have, I should have pinged them. Best out of five now? I mean, I suppose. If, if Council wins this game, it's fine. If Quirk wins this game, I probably have to tell them that, like, they, uh, they, they really just need to... If Council wins this game, it doesn't matter. If Quirk wins this game, I'm just gonna have to tell them. I'm just gonna ping them now, actually. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but unfortunately, Quirk is fighting, uh, needlessly here. They are, unfortunately, already eliminated. Uh, Avery, could you actually do that for me, if you don't mind? So just, like, hit a quick at to both of them there and let them know that it was actually a best of, uh, best of three. It, it breaks my heart, but uh, Quirk is already dead. You are watching a you're watching a ghost fight on screen right now. I'm talking about the Tekken the Tekken mode, the dead fighting back. Indeed. Ow. Alright, so we can we can enjoy this match while it's happening. Watching reverse sweep now. I mean, 
Unfortunately, you won't get the chance. After this game, we're absolutely calling them back. Calling off the dogs. You get to play at least one more game, I suppose. We got time. We are ahead of schedule on the bright side. We are, we are two sets. We got an hour left for two sets, essentially. If Thug Finals has to die, then Thug Finals has to die. Ow. Ow. Okay. EX hip thrust there. Double set point. It's like, uh, you know when you get the deuce in tennis? You gotta, like, win by two. Or, like, a tie in volleyball or something. That's what's happening right now. So, let's see. Maybe Council's gonna try and win by two here. It's all looking so bad for them right now. Ow. Okay. Trap once again above your head. You gotta watch out. Ooh, the clip clips the toes. Those work. Not so bad. You trap. Spooky stuff. Controls a lot of the screen. Those pierces slowly moving. Yeah, it's the run-up throw they were trying to do before. Perk called them out on it earlier, but that time, not quite so lucky. Tex it at the very least, but now, can encounter it into this Raging Strike combo. A little bit of a bonus match here for you. Council said, oh, oops. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. It was a little confusing, right? That's why I, I mentioned it in the stream a couple of times, but I should have uh, I should have also pinged both of them and reminded them. It happens. Boss's puppet is near. Ah, uh, looks okay. Look, I guess fortunately, it didn't really matter. Uh, even if it was best of five, Council would have just taken it right there. But yes, that is going to be Council. Moving on to face Seika in Losers Finals. And that is going to unfortunately be Quirk. Eliminated. Happens. Happens. Well played to both players, but Council is a little bit more on the ball there in some of those neutral interactions. All right, and now, Losers Finals. Uh, for realsies this time, now everything is a best of five. We have Losers Finals, and now, and then Grand Finals, right? So no more confusion. Everybody can just uh, play till someone gets three points, and then, and then we go from there. Uh, Seika, by the way, calling out the Nier. I've been playing Zeta this entire bracket, but I suppose feels better about Nier Cagliostro than they do Zeta Cagliostro. I feel like that makes sense. Evoker. What the hell? What kind of Grand Blue Fantasy gotcha nonsense? What does that word mean? The first time I've heard that word outside in, in this game, at the very least. Is an evoker to someone who summons a primal beast or something? That's what Nier is. She's an evoker. Nier is a Minecraft evoker. Oh god. Nier has killed the wither. Okay, Brave counter coming out from Seika there. Round start. Death. Ooh, nice, nice bash on council there. Not even letting Death get to any sort of shenanigans. Just go right back into the corner push, into the corner combos, into big damage on Seika here. Not looking so good for them round start. You trap right there. Just again, a gun pointed to your head. Punches the DP, blocks it, and a very, very clean round by Council. Let's see. Again, best of five, though. So, again, Seika has a lot more time, a lot more Grand Blue to play, a lot more time to try and adapt and figure things out. Evokers are people that are formed connections with Primals? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is Catalina an Evoker then, too? Right? She, she has Ares? Makes sense. That's what the name implied to me. So, that's a good thing that my intuitions were correct. Ow. Oh, spot. Uh, never mind, not Ow. I said Ow there because I thought they were going to get a Brave Counter, but no. Spot that is the Brave Counter. Once again, that DP whiffs from Seiko, unfortunate. It's a specific group? Oh, okay, so not just anybody who has connection with the Primal Beasts. A specific group of... Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Ow. Okay. Seika down on HP, but again, Nier can do a lot of damage really quickly. Actually, a good conversion into Skybound Art here will probably just get them a kill. Death, Death is not back yet. Now they are, though. Oh, but no, two Raging Strikes in the single combo makes the bounce so much lighter. I was trying to stall there to get Death back and be able to do that combo, con convert that combo. But no such luck, and Council taking that first game. Fat Finger? Happens. Happens. That also, that's even worse. If you didn't mean to do that, it feels, that hurts, it hurts, but it's fine. Mechanical flubs happen. It's gotta Victory. clean it up. Battle. Again, that's the nice thing about best of fives. You do have a lot more time to uh, adapt to, get, to get your game plan going. Okay, light DP there. Uh, Council has been mashing on the death pressure a lot. The light DP there designed to catch them out there. Oh, I see. It's, it's tarot card related. That makes sense. That explains Nier's whole thing, too. Okay. Ow, ow. Good old trap combos. Oh, the, connect, the teleport does not connect there. Spot dodges the close L and then throws Clash. 2 1 4 U, still a good tool. Nerfs, but still pretty nice. And that sweep from Nier is massive, man. Do not sweep on that. Or sw sweep on that. Do not sleep on that sweep, is what I meant to say. That 2 U is absolutely huge. Now always watch your toes, even from relatively mid range distances. Nier wants to summon Dio. Yes, Zawaro, though, as it, it works. Pierce. Okay, overhead punishable on block, but no conversion from Seika. If they were really, uh, if they were really ready for that, probably could have done a raging strike or something. But it happens. It happens. Still, ahead in the round here. Oh no! And a brave counter, I believe, in an intended brave counter there. Baited out. Council, gonna punish them for that and go up another round here in the second game. Walter, we had a good thing going, you son of a bitch. All right. Ooh. Ball getting jumped over there. Wilson, as it were, summoned by Cagliostro. Oh yeah, Death is technically Wilson. I forgot. All side characters are Wilson, except for Gigi, who is Gigi. My bad. Big counter hit starter there from Seika. 
Wilson now playing playing some volleyball back and forth. The bump set spike combos is huge damage. I don't think death. Yep, not not death. Uh, oh my god, but the side switch overhead. That freeze from on your screaming right there. Going to get seven golden letters to tie this up one to one. Walter. Walter. Spot dodge. Ooh, that gets immediately blown up for the trouble there. R H just is such a belligerent button here from Cagliostro, man. And Council using a too great effect. Drop above your head. You gotta be. You gotta watch out. Overheads, throws, basically anything. Yeah, that throw there was very important effect. Would have been a good glut of damage there if they did. If they hadn't. Speaking of gluts of damage, though, here we go. Just that chip alone there take, took that basically up to a 50% combo. Really solid stuff from Seika. And 2 to you. This is a huge starter. I don't think they're gonna build super. Yeah, so it's not gonna be death. But that 2 to you is just gigantic damage. Again, any any U special starter is gonna be huge damage. Out. Oh my god, into the traps. Once again, the Velkos geometry coming into play here. Oh, and oh, it's not a counter. I thought it was a counter hit. It's gonna be counter hit toilet. It's gonna be death for Seika, but no, no. No counter hit, but 2 to you once again. Gashing Council right out of the air with that overhead. It's gonna be one to one. Tied up, tied up. Best of five again. Lots more to play still. At the very least, two more games. But both players looking pretty uh, pretty decently matched so far. 6 6 L gets called out there, blocked. Pierce. Pierce. Oh no, it's the trap too. Worst case scenario. Some, some decent damage there for Council and some really good corner carry while we're at it. Does an air stall there with the trap placement. Okay, and gets clipped by the low, but not full into a full conversion, at least, from Seiko. Good stuff for Council. Oh, and gets two counter hits in a row there. Very, very, very long delays coming out from Council there, right? To catch possibly Seiko delay second. This go oh, this is like the really weird thing that- Yeah, yeah, she can- Nah, this- 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 This has not been changed either. Oh, the parry. Yeah, Cagliostro with the, that super can basically reset her combo limit. It didn't actually amount to too much there, but that's also- That- The fact that that didn't get patched. Yes. Yeah. Like, like- um, that like, you know, Kag not getting patched because like, oh, it's, she's, she's not strong or whatever, but whatever the hell the Arxis developers are thinking, that's fine. But that combo making it through the patch is just like wild to me. Ow. The SBA resets it. Yes, that's right. The SBA resets combo limit. Regardless though, Seika, not letting, uh, not letting any of that nonsense get down, get them down as they take that round. The parry SSBA really shifting the momentum of that round. Ooh, EX hip thrust also very punishable. Okay, lots of chip coming in. The big claw. Council's been very patient blocking, but at a certain point, it just can't block forever. Ooh, two to you. No huge starter, at least, for uh, for Seika there. So, Council, good luck on their part. Okay, though they do get caught out by the waltz there. Health is dwindling, I would say slowly, but now it's going to be very, very rapid as this volleyball combo turns you to dust. Goes for the full extension, even though it's kind of unnecessary. Just wants the maximum damage there, does Seika. Could have killed with, like, 4,000 more health. Ow. My face. 2-1. Of course, best of five, so at least one more game to play here. But Seika has definitely figured something out here. Feels a lot more comfortable in the neutral ever, ever since Council took that first game. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, okay, far right, though. Still a war criminal button. Do not get it twisted. Spot up is the pierces. Uh, it was the wrong pierce, I think. Ow, ow. Okay, big, once again, big ol' volleyball combo here. Also getting those death stocks down, which is kind of a good thing for Nier, as long as you can time it out right. Makes her supers do more damage. Pull attacks. Not going to be paid by Seika. It's going to be 50 meter down the drain for Council there. Things are looking a little a little spooky. In the corner with Death staring you down. This is one of the most menacing positions in the game. Pierce. Death right behind you, man. You got to look out for the 2-2-U, I was going to say. And the 6 6 8 going to be a full conversion. Ooh, nice clip with, on the toes there, though. Into the Raging Strike by Council. Hold on. Side switch combo. Not so bad. Not so bad. Nears DP, of course, not nearly as scary as it used to be. The close L actually catches out. The teleport from Kagdar, it is, it is doable. It is doable. Most two L's would definitely miss. But the close L's will work. It is only, it's invincible, but not frame one. So that close, that teleport actually getting blown up a little bit there. You want to catch the latex with close L against Kag most of the time. If you do, with, but most people do two L because they're already crouch blocking by default. All that being said, oh God, it's going to be a kill for Council. A little bit of a conversion into Raging Strike there. Unfortunate stuff, but now Council trying to put themselves back up here into Thai territory, 2-2 two, two territory as it were. I ain't talking about ballerinas. Okay. Ooh, nice tech on the throw. Text it the Aki way as well. Big style points there from Council. The riskier way to do it, but they felt confident, I suppose. Oh, and the just run up low. Very quick little dash low there from Council. Big old damage. Side switch into the trap. Nice overhead block from Seika. That could have reset into probably death. They weren't careful, but you trap. What a horrifying time to be alive. Okay, okay, still alive. Ah, but the throw is still alive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a chance. There's a world. 
You never, you never really can count out near. In two interactions, he can really just turn you to dust. Not gonna, yeah, gonna go for the reset into some schmicks here. Oh, the Raging Strike! That setup actually would have, I believe that's a setup where Death would have eaten the Raging Strike uh, Brave counter, right? But Council was still in block stun there, I think, so the Raging Strike didn't even guard break. 2-2, two, two. Council, tying it up. Game five, our first best of five, or our second best of five, I suppose, and it goes all the way to game five here. Let's see, let's see. Should have gone for Super to get rid of the gems? Possibly. The Super lead into good Oki uh, for, for near there? I think the idea probably from Seika was to just like get that first hit and then get a se get some some Oki off the second hit, right? Or get the Oki off the first hit and then get the second hit to kill. It's workable Oki? Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. It's, it's always a, a bit of a question there when you have the meter, whether you spend it for Oki or damage and uh, and brave point removal. This is going to be a kill for Seika at the very least here, almost certainly. Yeah, just keeping it nice and simple. Good old medium raging strike, medium raging strike, medium raging strike to put himself back on set point. Let's see. Council has been surviving so far. But now, one way or the other, at the end of the set, somebody is going home. And the other person has got uh, a, a big old QQ train waiting for them on winner's side of Grand Finals. So we will have to see. Big old volleyball combo, as always. Into lots and lots of plus frames. Have to bait a Brave counter there. Uh, Council does not bite. Teleport. A far eight once again. Mortal War Criminal button. That counter converted from all the way over there. God, that was clean. That was like, the, that was like as far as you could possibly hit convert that, I feel like. Really, really good stuff by Council. Seiko, though, Captain Mall 2 1 4 you. Once again, it's looking kind of scary. War Criminal Button? God damn. Yeah, say, say it louder for the kids in the back. Ooh, 2 2 you. This should be a lot of damage. Not death, though. Not death. Hold on. Council's still in this. Sets a trap right behind Seiko there. Points a gun to their head. Walking back. Very smart from Seiko there to walk back. Kind of reduce the threat of the trap. And now that 2 1 4 you sniping Council out of midair. It's going to be Seiko. Taking the set, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Taking the set 3 2. Moving on to try and get that run back versus Fuselet. Very well done by Council, of course, but unfortunately, eliminated. Uh, did a great job coming in third place here. It's going to be Seika Fuselet, Grand Finals, up next. All right, and here's Grand Finals. Of course, we have Fuselet, who we just saw a little bit ago, on winner's side. What are you doing, Lazy? Oh, no, it's the last near. I thought you were, I thought you were sending Seika, like, a whole paragraph of what they should do against Fuselet when, like, the set's already started. I was like, god damn. What's he supposed to do, man? What's he going to find time to read that? But no, no, you're talking about Voss Nier. Um, anyways, we have Fuselet on winner's side here on the Voss Raga. And Seika running it back now on the Zeta. Trying again versus Fuselet's Voss. Of course, Fuselet with a huge advantage here in the sense they have to lose two sets in a row for Seika to win the tournament, whereas Seika only needs to lose one. If Fuse wins a single set at any point in this Grand Finals, they will take the whole tournament and be the first two-time champion of our little Discord server bracket here. Let's see. Ooh, this run-up grab, not the EX one. Want to keep it unreactive, want to keep it ambiguous. Oh, and delays it enough to catch the spot dodge there on the battalions. Solid stuff. Infinite Wonder gets called out by the projectile. Boss has one of those too. Oh, the delay on the light is not quite enough. Okay, and into immediate into our vest there. It's not gonna be death. It shouldn't be anyway. Yeah, even with this rating strike follow-up. But a lot of damage, and now basically anything that he touches fuse with will kill him. So let's see what Seika decides to do here. Oh, gets their toes swept. And yeah, that into the EX Battalions with no bravery. is going to be just enough damage there for Fuse to get the kill. Planting down the good old Glass Scythe there. Taking that first round. Very clean conversions from Fuse, as always. Let's see what Seika can do. Nice sweep right away. Fuse likes grabbing people's toes. How do you like it yourself? Predictable. Fool, you're mine. Oh, oh my god, does all three? A little bit of a call. I mean, that, that would be, I believe, would be pretty minus if Fuse had blocked that. But usually Zeta's run away on the third one. Kind of getting called out there. Guess your toes out from under you again. Fuse loves going for the ankles, man. Looking like Tarantino. Always with the feet. Overhead. Not a huge reward off of anything. Spot dog does that follow up. Just keeping their pressure going here is Seika. Again, no meter for DP. No soul forward. Well, soul forward now. But again, this is a miserable place to be if your name is Lacerado. He's got to watch out for that 2M, though. To run an offense on boss. He can always just sweep you into giant damage. Nice low block from Seika. Not letting some of these Rekka options catch him off guard. There's patience in neutral, man. From both of these players, a 6-6-L spot dodge preemptively. It only to a big punish there in terms of back throw. Great screen positioning coming out of that. Four fuse. Some wild beats nonsense. Ooh. I think that might have worked if they had done the ultimate Arvis. I think it's a little bit faster on the startup, right? Would have punished that... Oh my god, that convert! Would have punished that uh, that projectile, and this is going to work out pretty well for Seika here. SBA, 
on reaction to the command grab and then immediate raven strike you know what uh fuse actually i don't believe did not need to brave counter there as seika didn't have the meter for a follow-up let's play it safe anyway wanted to get himself some breathing room and takes that first game takes that first game with the sweep the medium option off the record there surprisingly quick a lot of these record options with Voss. you can't really uh react to a lot of them you saw the parry animation so true Oh, blocks the round start, 6-6-M this time, once again. Big ol' H follow-up gets spot dodged. These players are definitely very familiar with each other, right? You can, you can definitely tell there's a lot of... There's a lot, like, it's not just the, the conditioning from the one set they played earlier here. They've played a bunch. Lots of several, like, it's all, lots of deep level mind games going on, but of course, any mind games can always just end with 2-M into big ol' convert for boss here. 6-6-L. Oh, turns into Soul Forge with Spear of Arvis. That's really good stuff. Gonna be, again, some really nice damage here. All for Fuse of Daring to use his primary mechanic. Look at that. Almost about half health, basically, on Vasaraga. 9,000 damage mid screen there. Easy peasy for Seiko. Look at this man just staring at each other from across the screen. What the hell is going on? Oh, and if you're wondering, gonna get armored through there. Not the best option. Oh my god, but was waiting, respecting the U, uh, the U dive kick there, I think, was Fuselet. It just stood there and took the overhead, essentially, from Seiko. Oh, we're gonna get thrown now. Hold on. Seiko could make a comeback here. Of course, there's lots of scary defensive options coming out of the side of Fuselet. DP, Skybound Dart, anything like that. Exactly. You gotta look out for those if you're Seiko. And now, Fuselet up another game. Is this, is this tournament points? Or this is the second game? I somehow have lost track. Been too engrossed in the actual second. Okay, okay, okay. I thought, I thought, I thought so. I thought so. Okay. So still some time to play here, at the very least, for Seika. Worst case scenario. Well, let's see. Game two. Yes. Thank you. Oh god. Soul Forge conversions. Big old 2M. Big corner combo into the. St oh, this is just like the most menacing thing in the world, man. Okay, okay, okay. But Seika does make it out alive there. He's just standing there menacingly, dude, in the stance with a little light on his eyes there. It, it may, maybe. I mean, again, he's got the winner's side grand finals advantage. Fuse may very well be our first two-time champion, but Seika still trying to do their damnedest to prevent that, for sure. Oh, baby. Just like, so much patience from both players. Ow. Okay, spear and spear and big ol' damages coming out there. Again, Fuse is very alive, but not for long. This is going to probably be death, I have to imagine, unless a horrible drop happens, and a horrible drop does not happen. Good conversion there by Seika. And that Spear of Arvest is into one more uh, interaction there, killing the boss Raga. Really solid stuff. 1-1 one, one apiece now in the second game. Get Soul Forge out on time, that's huge. Got to really play a lot more aggressively in the neutral here. Fool, you're mine. Predictable. Grabs Seika out of the parry there. Some, uh, decent, like, a pretty decent chunk of damage on that command grab from boss Raga too. Besides just the mental damage that it does. You gotta, you gotta remember about that. Ooh, man. Into 6-6-8 six, six, into 2M. What the hell are these hit confirms? I don't expect anywhere near as much damage off that kind of random attack there. Uh oh this, I believe, I believe this is death. No, no, okay, never mind, never mind, not enough meter to go to go into SBA there. So, Seika does live to tell the tale. Oh, what, is that, is that, was that three spears in a single combo? What the hell am I looking at, man? What the hell am I looking at? Ow, ow. Oh, back, back, that's the, the uh, DP. Solid stuff by Seika, but now, yeah, so scary when Boss is marching down at you there. Tries to jump away and gets clipped by the light follow-up. 2-0. Potential tournament game here for Fuselet. If he wins this this attack, that attack hits so high, yeah. I mean, honestly, he needs it because his 2H is like pure ass. So the fact that that L is a really good anti air in front of him at the very least is uh, it's pretty deserved, I think. It does whiff. Uh, it whiffs on crouching, lazy. It hits you if you're standing. Ow. Ow. Okay. Once again, a good start to the round here. Corner pressure coming out. Sometimes I've seen a whiff standing. God damn, I've never seen that. That's so unfortunate. Ow, ow, ow. Big, big damage coming out from Fuse here. And the command grab. Ooh, well reds though. By Seika. Again, it's double Arvest here. But at this point, like, they have, this is huge damage. You just have so much boss Raga health to go through. And you have so little of your own to contest with. We'll have to see though. DP is obviously a huge risk. Oh, the parry follow up. That you fireball is active long enough that it actually does end up beating the parry to him. Not going to kill though. A rare missed hit conversion from Fuse there. Let's see. Oh, yes. It's just so intimidating, man. There's so many different things you can do. Eventually, you just kind of stand there, and he, and he murders you for it. Just get your Jordan's Creased to put Fuselet on tournament points here, potentially. Let's see. 
What do you got, Seika? If you got something, you gotta show it to us right now. You have exactly one round, all potentially. When the man walks and you die? Uh-oh. 2M. Getting your toes swept once again. The toe boot grippers claim another victim. That's right. Oh, medium command grab actually whiffing there. The jump back, a little bit a little bit less range than I guess it, it, how it looks. Ooh, and the counter hit on medium battalions, though, is going to be a huge wall bounce. Tons of damage. I ain't talking about Freak and the champion spotlights. Oh, you project how this got to be it, hasn't it? Oh, no! Take us still alive! Oh, but gets this blocked. Chip damage on the steppers. They are specials. You got to look out for that, and that's going to be Fuse. Taking his second wall brawl in a row. God damn. Our first two-time champion here, of course, yes. Good games to everybody, incredibly well played by Seika. But Fuselet, when he gets in that stance and he just starts walking you down, there are a few things more intimidating in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising. So, incredibly well done stuff to both players. That is going to be Fuse, however, taking the tournament. Hello, Fuselet, how's it going? Back to back? Look at this guy, man. What the hell? Let me turn you up yeah. real quick. Make you a little bit more audible.com, the world's oldest collection of audiobooks. Oh, yeah, 200. What the hell? Dude, Mike, he's, oh, a, yeah, he's, yeah. he's a soft-spoken giant. That happens. My my mic is um has some static, so I have like Nvidia um. Let me see. No, you're good. You're Nvidia good. Nvidia RTX voice to reduce the static, but I think it reduces my voice volume in general. It's fine. I'll turn you up in post. You don't have to worry about uh, any sort of. Don't have, you don't have to play with it on your end. It's fine. Uh, I can I can hear oh, you just fine. Good. I can hear you just fine. Anyways, how how you feel? Uh, back to back winner. I'm feeling good, but you know, as as uh the wall gets bigger, there's gonna be definitely more killers joining. I mean, yeah, we, we're getting more uh, top Hazel players every week. Today. What's that? I'm surprised uh, Hazel didn't join today. Yeah, I thought she would. I mean, I guess maybe she didn't know. It's possible she just didn't know there was a bracket happening. Uh, but yeah, we got Hazel in here. I mean, Uber is in here again. Hazel is here. Actually, joined uh, earlier today, like right before the bracket. Which is why I think maybe she didn't know the bracket was happening, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, well, maybe 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 she can join next week. Maybe Uber can join next week if he's got the time. I know he's he's a uh, he's a he's a whole he's a whole grown ass man. But you know if you can find the time for it, it'd be awesome. Obviously, Gabba, Lazy said they might be able to join next week. So I think next week's wall brawl is going to be absolutely horrific. It's gonna be so so stacked. But we will, oh, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, for now I gotta look yeah. forward to uh, this goddamn choo choo train. It's right here. Are you, gonna, are you gonna you just, what, you just spot dodge? Wait, I get you, you thought I was gonna close line. I suppose. Yeah, sometimes you just ex close line. I de right? no, it's definitely true. Wait, oh, that wasn't... I thought that would be minus enough for me to bonk you. Nah, no, I, I just love playing neutral, that's it. Like, me personally. Neutral is my passion. Just, like, jump H. <laughs> yeah, oh. As soon as I said, uh, I just did fucking all command grabs with the neutral. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's on block if I space nice, it. Nice, nice. Be aware. Bonk, bonk, Are you gonna bonk. command grab any time? No. Oh, oh, okay. No, no command grabbing. How dare you try okay. and jump out of my brush? Well, look, um, man, uh, you broke some habits, did you? All right, I'm, try I'm right. trying my best. I, I mean, it's with, with, with a with a with a mix up a mind games character like this. Like basically, you either you either can mix up your options or you die. That beat brave counter. I'm sorry. What? Huh? <laughs> yeah, what? it's a frame trap. It's a frame trap. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I was, I was unaware. You cannot press any buttons if he does the low. Fair enough. Oh, also, okay. Get nice, wrecked, nice, nerd. Nice. Get absolutely projectile invincible super. Yeah, you're about to get smoked, brother. <laughs> about to get smoked. I've been, I'm, I'm being, it's okay. Listen, I gotta take one game before the download happens. All right, that's that's my that's oh, yeah, my goal. Download. I gotta catch you yeah, off guard. Like, you have played me before. That's like, true. It's like at fifty percent right now. Right? All right, well, and, and I got I gotta get this round before it gets to hundred. I need to work with the ISPs to like uh, make it no. download faster. I'm telling you, man, right. it's the goddamn monopolies, the telecom companies. They're screwing us out here. I got like a 30 yeah. megabytes per second upload. You think that's good as a YouTuber? No, it's not. The answer is that it's very much not. God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, nice. Get safe jab, nerd. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, oh, this is no. not going to build super. I don't even want it to. I just want the OP. I'd rather take the OP. You're not really oh, going to command God. grab, are you? I'd listen. I, I figured I'd, I'd try to play <laughs> it safe, but I, I went a little... I, I, I tried to extend the block string a little too far. On this. I thought you were gonna press. What if I did this? Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know what I want to do. First. You got brave counter. Did that counter? Oh, oh, oh. That, okay, does, okay. Work that oh, does work against okay. brave counter. That does work against brave counter. Let's got, yeah, go. You got me, you got me. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Is we're still in it. We're still in it. Is that the first game uh, Fuse looks lost all day? Possible. Okay, Come hold on. on. Do something. Unfortunately, now I'm downloaded. I I, I have to celebrate while it lasted because now I'm. Come on. I mean, what do you want from me, man? I, I thought you would do. I thought you would do stance a fourth time. I was like, this this can work. I can see a world. I, again, it, I am, unfortunately I, I am. Oh no, I am downloaded now, so I am screwed. But you know, I did my best while while I could. 
Uh, no, no, you got something. We got, we're, we, we're trying to have some sauce. Oh, oh, I knew it. Your command grab's better than mine. That's not fair. I'm the grappler. What are you doing? Get away from me. Oh, no, what you're the staying hell? in there. No, that's fair. I guess that's fair. That's that's my bad. Oh, no close line? Are you gonna close line? I really want to. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really, yeah, really, I really want, want to. you to. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Oh, I guess oh, I'll take what? it. I caught. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it here. Oh, yeah, that's fair. No, you gotta that stay. That is fair. No, that's totally fair. You stay. That's, that's very, very fair. I'll say. The problem is that the startup of the light... You don't uh... pay for Morgan. <laughs> Listen, man. You think I got that kind of... You think I got that kind of dough? You think I got that kind of dough? Yeah, you do. Your 9 you frame do. 2M? Dog, even if I was minus 1, you would've lost. This dude, he's, he's, he's bold. He's the bold and the beautiful, as I always say. Get grabbed. Oh, him. okay, okay, nice, man. See, I, got, I, can't, I can't just never come in grab. Okay, fair enough. Okay, double fair enough. Oh, where are you gonna jump? Where are you hit, gonna jump? Hit, hit three? Oh, he's so patient. Nope. He's so incredibly patient. He's the, most, he's the world's most patient player of the video game. Not if I do that. Not if I do that. <laughs> no, it's fair. It's totally fair. That's minus, right? Surely. Oh, oh, yeah, it was. Minus enough for me to take my turn. Get grabbed. No, oh, you're not gonna. No, no, no you're why? not. Why would you do such a thing to me? Oh, fair enough. I just wasn't blocking. That's not my bad. Do it. System. Do it for the video. Do what if I just content. did that? No! Instead. That's been working out pretty gangbusters. Come on, close line, man. Come I on. don't, bro. I, I will. I will. Don't get it twisted. You will, you will. I definitely, will. I definitely okay. want to. I definitely want to. I definitely want to. Okay, okay. Could be worse. Okay, worse things okay. have happened for close line. Sorry for party rocking. Sorry for oh, party rocking, okay, Mr. Okay, Ufuse. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Hold on a minute. Lock in. Where's we gotta the get the parasite the gift. Come on. Where's the warm... <laughs> Where's the to... room temperature soda? I did try it. The room to oh god. So so accurate. Get grab nerd. Oh shit. Uh get grab nerd. No. Oh, I, what? Oh. You tried it. Get grabbed I... nerd? Oh, okay, 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 okay. There's no way I do it four times in a row, right? You're right, there is there's no way. Yeah, you uh, you were. <laughs> there is there okay, is I would okay. never I would never I would I've never done that before. I don't know what you're talking about. There's simply no way. I think, I think you have, maybe. Oh yeah, definitely. Like a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fair. I think I could have jumped there actually if I reacted in time. I think the close cell might have uh, might have recovered fast enough. Oh no. I thought I could catch you. Oh, okay. Oh sure. what the Don't fuck? mind oh. if I do. What the hell? No, that was definitely a, okay, bra a baited okay, brave okay. counter, but it worked out for me. Okay, the download is like uh someone cut off the internet, so like the download, you know? I got so, the Russian uh, hackers. I got Avery. Yeah. Avery went in there, he said, you know what? I, I got I got him, boss. No. Oh god. Why would you do such a thing? I'm the grappler, you can't grapple me. It's cheating. Oh, I tried to run I up won't and grab grapple you. you that time. Okay, no fair. I won't. Oh, fool! Oh, oh, oh no, I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting grapplers. Not like this. Get away from me. Get close lines, nerd. Oh, I thought I was Get close lines, nerd. Oh what? I <laughs> if, if oh, okay, I don't okay, know okay, what okay. I'm gonna do, you don't know what I okay, fair. You don't know what I'm gonna do either. Yeah, okay. It's like that's 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 the motto. Yeah, yeah. Jump. No. Even though I was very scared, don't get it twisted. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Can't no, you're it. not. That two M is very. Stubby. I'd like to dedicate oh. my life to uh, I don't know, Ladiva. Oh, I'm safe. Oh, no, my don't God. tell me. Oh I'm, my I got my, my brave counter baited, and it worked out for me. Sometimes what there is, is no this? justice in the world, and that time is now. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, oh. Get, get. Okay. 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 Oh. oh no. Yo, oh. Is, is Brick is Brick doing? He's on crack. What's I'm, he doing I'm right now? so scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, the, the way I feel right now, you'd think I was down to, uh... Oh god, man, I'm, I'm terrified. Oh, oh, you follow up, you nerd. Get close. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, Can't oh, do that no, twice in a row. Not. Can't do that twice in a row, that's on... No. That thing oh, is so... That thing is, is impossible to punish, man. Like, I knew you were gonna do that, I knew it was gonna whiff, and I still wasn't fast enough to punish it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, zero on whiff. What does that even You're mean? You're gonna have to hold... I'm, like, blocking. On... Surely it's, like, it's whole animation on whiff, no? Like, it's the whole startup and recover. How does that, that doesn't make any mathematical sense, Fusel? Like, I don't know. It's what you're saying, what you're saying doesn't, the math isn't math. Hold on, I'm getting toilet enough. paper sabotage. Oh, God. Come on, do something. I want to. I want to. I really want to. You will not do it. Oh, I did jump. I jumped. Oh, you, you, you I bit. Jumped, you bit, did you? And now I'm dead. Yeah. Bloody moon. No, God damn it. I don't even get the whole animation, bro. I'm so dead, I don't even get the animation. That's how we're doing this. If you were Gabba, you would have SSB'd me there. Which, I don't <laughs> know how he does it. Unfortunately, nobody can be Gabba. <laughs> oh, there's only one Gabba Ghoul. Oh, oh, oh I should have gone, oh. gone into headbutt there. Oh, my. What? Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's you fair. put yourself in a really I, bad I, position. I, I, you right know now. what? I, I was in a good one, too. That's the worst part. Oh, oh. Okay. that's a, even a worse position. 
Maybe I should, you know what? Maybe I should have just like thrown you. I feel like it would have been a great idea just back throwing you when you, when you did two steppers there. Get away from me. You haven't uh, made no, that you're brave going back yet. in there. Damn right, you I have. going back in there. Please don't jump. do it. You don't jump. let your inner thoughts do it. You know, don't don't wake up SSD. I want you know? to so much. Yeah. Oh, oh. But okay. I want to so badly. Do it. Oh. oh, okay, okay. I thought you were going to do it right I, there. I really right considered it. I want to do it so badly, Fuse. Have you considered it? Uh, right, oh, right, yeah, 6-6-L. Okay. Six, six, yeah, yeah. 6-6-L, six, six, very, uh, very, very committal option against a man who can armor through any, any hit. Who knows, man, I might make the sweep. You got, you, you man, a bro, Avery, I told you to cut off his internet. What are you doing? He's downloading. What do I pay you for? What do I not pay you for, Avery? Oh, shit. Uh, this is gonna be close, L, yeah. Madden, uh, unfortunate. It's far, I'll do it. far in. <laughs> Oh, just oh no, just oh, barely out yeah, of range. Yeah. Not like this. And then my toes. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh my god. No. There's a big old scythe here rocking there. I wasn't blocking, I was just crouching. My bad. You were. I you think I'm gonna do it again? Yes. Jump scare! Oh, I've been jump scared. <laughs> he even said jump scare. <laughs> hit, hit, hit. Get grabbed. Oh Don't do no! It. Don't do it. Oh no! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Chance. Don't do it. If I did it again. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Soul no, you're not good. Oh, oh my god. I liked you better when you didn't have Soul Forge. Nice. Me too. Yeah, sometimes you oh, gotta wait, run up and say, six, why, why did I say me too? What? You like you like it better when you don't have Soul Forge? I'm glad I'm glad you're on my <laughs> no, side. No, because... wait, wait. I'm... Okay, so this, you, uh, you we you agree you never Soul Forge again. You're never gonna Soul Forge for the rest of the set, right? That's the that's the, that's the uh, plan. Oh, oh. No oh, sir. You're a madman. You're a madman. No okay, okay, sir. I've been I've been dashing up six six selling you there all the time. And then you uh you've been you've been ultimate grabbing me. I yeah, like gonna, gonna I mean, I mean, thing. I thought you were confident enough to, uh... Oh, I was confident there. enough that you were gonna DP. Is what I was confident. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah, true. Yeah, I get grabbed. Oh, okay, okay. You have a six frame light, so I can actually do two headbutts and have it be real mix. I love oh, it. Oh, come on, mate. Bonk, you bonk, didn't grab bonk. there? Come on. Your no, inner I'm gonna grab here, thoughts. though. The verbal mix-up. He didn't, he didn't fall for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gasped. Wait, oh, I'm wow. for real, guy. I think I did too early. I got jump scared IRL there. I hate that. You don't have Soul Forge. Oh, but you still have Oh, but I got. Oh, oh my Who goodness. Who is? He's a mat. Oh, no. I'm dead. Oh, oh yep. I'm double dead. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting. Jump scare. Oh, my God. I tried to jump <laughs> that. I thought I saw blue yeah. and I was like, oh, yeah, DP. Right. No, that's not DP. Not even a little bit. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah there the you mix, go. The After I get punished for jumping. Very, very clever. Very clever. Mm -hmm. Jumping goes down the mental stack a little bit. I liked it better when I was on set point and you didn't have a round. Come on, do something. No. Me when I talk to every machine in the world? Come on, <laughs> do something. Me when my code doesn't work and I have no idea why. Me when I ask ChatGPT and it says, uh, fuck you. Oh, God. Me when ChatGPT yeah. wants me to pay yeah. money for more. Oh, you're too far away, man. Why, are you too oh, far? why yeah, can't you be yeah, a little yeah. bigger? Could you have a little bit of a larger hitbox? Hurtbox, that is. Hit. I don't know. You're pretty scary right now. I don't think I want a bigger hitbox. I would love if you did have one. Oh, damn, you're God reacting. No, uh, come on. I think you're dead. I think you should be anyway. I think you should be dead. I think oh, you should well, well, be dead. I gotta interview you now. You, you just won. Your oh own tournament. my God. What That's video ideas time. are you gonna make tomorrow? Come on. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm handing my channel over to Fuselet for a day and he has to play Ladiva. Uh, he gets my account, oh. he has to play Ladiva and Master Rank. No, oh, not the okay. Don't we play. got there. Thank you, Avery, for cutting his internet so he couldn't download me. I managed to gimmick. I managed to gimmick that shit out. Your 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 checks in the mail. All right. Thank you very much for the set. Awesome stuff. I can't believe that, man. I feel like I, I definitely yeah. like. I, I will say you. Uh, I mentioned to you after I went 0-2 in the bracket, and I genuinely feel like I've been playing better since then. Like it just like it is it, somehow it has like broken a limiter for me. I swear to God. But I uh, mean, you know, with enough play time, you're gonna true. get somewhere, right? That's true. Yeah. I've been grinding. I've been grinding. Uh, but yes, thank and you very much. Reacting. Yeah. And, uh, goddamn, I don't even know what to say. I'm usually, I'm like, thanks for beating my ass. I don't even, uh, all with right. all that being said. Thanks for beating my ass. No, what are you talking no, about? no, 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 <laughs> Again, that, unfortunately, I, I, I've, I've switched up how I play slightly. Next time the download will be, uh, incre will be ready. And I'll, 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 I'll get, oh, I'll get oh, 3 again. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna, sure. gonna to talk to my ISP, you know, about that. That's what I'm saying. Next like I, time, though. I put the VPN and rerouted you to, to, to Indochina. And you just couldn't, the, the packets, they, they couldn't make it over. Indochina and McDonald's, yeah. That's right. All right. Well, All you, right. you handed over your uh, your your video idea to Lazy. You know what, Lazy? If you wanna if you wanna hop in here, you can temper because you you wrote me a uh, a paragraph. There. I'm gonna read it. Don't worry, I can read. But also, you can yeah, come yeah, in here. Come you, in, Lazy. Come yeah, in. you and Fuselet can both uh, be in on the party. 
let us know. Uh, also, what color do you want your role to be, Fuse? You already picked it. But, like, do you want it to change, or do you want it to stay as is, basically? Um, I like it to stay. I'm a cyan guy, so I like it. That's fair. It looks cyan, good. It looks good. Cyan. It's cyan yeah. pepper. Uh, how's it going, Lazy? Cyan Lizzie? pepper. Hello, first love. Fuse! It's nice to see you again, hey, man. Hey, oh, hey, Lazy. How's, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, honestly, it's been alright. I finished eating and all that, so I got a nice dinner and a show. Indeed. I'm surprised you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> the food like, coma? after eating. Yeah, food yeah, comas are real. Uh, I do get hit with food comas very often. Let's go. It's very real. Okay, so what's this grand blue party thing? I haven't read the paragraph yet, so I haven't okay, spoiled the surprise. So the idea was, so either me or Fuse yep. um, will be going against you. Okay. We're going to start on the, you know how we have the character roster screen. Yes. We're going to start on the very top left with Ooh. Gran and then do a game or like a set. We, like if the you top win left that, is Zeta, no? Okay, okay, okay top left is Zeta, so oh, we start okay, with okay. Zeta then. So you start with the top left uh -huh. of Seda, and then whoever wins that set gets to roll like a dice. Either I'm picking either like a D6 or a D12. We'll see on like how, since there's like 31, Ooh. it might be better to do 12. Right. And then you get to go that many spaces across. So let's say you won the first game of Seda, and now you go six spaces across, and now you're on Lance. And oh, once again, yeah. we do a fight again. Whoever wins gets to keep moving forward again until you get to the very end and win one final set. If you win with 2B that you win, basically? At the very end, yes. Ah, okay. I do like that basically uh, if Fuse rolls a nat 1, he gets to play Vassaraga. <laughs> which I... I and I, I will say as like a no, panic like option, does. if you... I will say as a panic option, you're allowed to switch to your main for one time. Ooh, no like you get on one mulligan, but then after that you're screwed. Like you can't get like say I say yeah. I roll I don't know I roll like vein and I don't want to play vein. Then I go be like no nope, you, I'm gonna play, play Lediva. As, yeah, you'll play as Lediva, but you'll stay on the vein position. Uh, oh, this is a cool idea. We might be able to do this. So we might do. Uh, hmm. You basically still stay in the role, but you get to say like this one option. Like, oh right, this is a very bad matchup. I need to get pull out ahead, or like, hey, the other person is currently stuck on a character. They don't know what to do. Let me really push them <laughs> down and take the lead. The problem is I'm never gonna win on Zeta. Like I. Can't. Like, I'm just gonna, I can't beat anybody, bro, I can't beat anyone with my Zeta. So I'm just, I'm gonna be stuck. I might have to make, like, a custom image of the characters. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't, I, bro, I can't. A custom roster, because Zeta as number one is a bit, is, is, is a bit tricky. All I need is 50 meter? I mean, true, but, like, bro, this is the only character I know how to play. My boss Raga is, like, maybe my second, I mean, honestly, my best, my second best character is probably used <laughs> somehow. I just suck at every other character on the roster. It'll yeah, be fun, though, it'll no. be fun. No, this would be a fun idea, which is what I, I was thinking of. Could we even do this? Could we do this with three people? Is that feasible? Could we just like meet Potentially, you and yeah. Fuse? Yeah, we just yeah, we just switch around. Yeah. That could be fun. I like this idea. It's unique. I still have to oh god, I still have to do Tyrant's like whole battle royale thing too that I never really I haven't, I haven't had time to uh from when he won last week. When he said I have to uh, pick ten people and like have them I pick mm. their characters and things like that. So that's also a really unique uh, idea, but it's gonna take some setup time. Brick Brick has told me I am content pilled. That's right, you are content built. Well, okay, that's a fun idea. Sounds good. Also, guys, uh, even though I know, even even though I was I was the heavy underdog there, I'm sure nobody was rooting for me to win. But I finally <laughs> won. I finally won a Zug Finals. I can't in, yeah, in the no, open bracket. I, I can't I, believe this it. This is a tragedy. This is a tragedy. No, a I don't, uh, uh, witness me. <laughs> no, no, let's congrat him. He, he did no, good. no, he did for good. real, Brick. You actually have been improving. It's actually in, it's actually really good to see. I'm very I'm very happy to see it too. Of course, I mean, you know the. the I'm starting. I feel like I can. I can sort of. Every, if I if I'm like really locked in, I can like sort of hang now, which is which is yeah. No, you're starting to get there. You're starting yeah. to reach like the more medium level of tournament player. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pogging up. Uh, okay. Well, that's a great idea. The the grand blue party there. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. If you want to make a custom roster or something, feel free. It'll, be, it'll probably be a few yeah. uh, days out before we do this. But yeah, so you have some time to think about it. But I like. Yeah, I like, I'll, I like this idea I'll actually a lot. look because the roster does seem. I thought Graham was going to be on the very top left. That would be great. That I would yeah. like starting with Grand is way better than starting with Zeta. Anybody can play Grand, at least to a basic level. Yeah, I'll I'll need to see about that. I might have to make like a custom image or something. Uh. Ooh, okay, you put get, making work for yourself. I love to hear. <laughs> uh, okay, awesome. Well, thank you for the idea, Lazy. Thank you for the set, Fuselet, and once again, uh, congratulations on winning back to back. Lazy said you're gonna be able to join next week. Is that right? Hopefully, Maybe? yes. Oh, if he does, yeah. Hopefully next uh, next week I'm going to have exam, so I don't actually have to be at the school to do it. I can just oh, be online. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So awesome. I don't have so I don't have to take like the two hour I don't have to take like the hour commute back home. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we can, maybe we can try. I mean, hopefully, uh, if Hazel is aware that there's a bracket going on here, she may be able to join too. Right. We'll have hopefully a fuse can make it. Gabba, Seika, maybe kill even Kill. Kill. Yeah. Kills yeah. is right there too. Yeah. Jehan is also right there as well. They were talking about it. Oh, word! I didn't realize that they were here. Oh shit! Awesome. Yeah. So we, we can we can really get uh, a a horrifying bracket next week. Hopefully. Be your you awesome mean a stuff. fun bracket? Well, I mean, yes, horrifying for anybody who isn't one of the names we just mentioned. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Oh, by the uh, way. I don't know. It's always fun to fight Fuse. I know like 90% of people are terrified to fight him, but he's fun. I mean, I just beat him, so is he even that good at the video game? I don't know. <laughs> uh, hey, look, look, look. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're, I, please, please don't hurt no, me. No, big, no, please I'm, don't I'm hurt bad, me, I'm big straight man. You got, you got <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You do a second plug finals right no, now. No, 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 no. I'm leaving. I'm just spending the room. Put your I'm, money in your <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm not, you can't you can't make me. You can't make me. I have to at least wait another week to get to get my ass beat by Fuse. Or you can run in, you can, we can run into rank. Uh or any, run into well, each all other. I, rank. All I know is that if me and Fuse run into each other next week, we we have honor coded that we are gonna be using each other's mains. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah. <laughs> Why? Oh oh my goodness. In breath. You should have seen us at Waz yesterday. We legitimately agreed to just spend all our rage counters round one. Incredible. Wait, open your damn gift box. You want me to do? You, is this bother you? This thirty-five? Does this make you? This make you uncomfortable? Too bad. You don't get to tell me what to do. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it add up. We have ninety-nine of those damn things. I'm okay, pretty awesome. sure it goes beyond ninety-nine. Oh, even better. Dance, dance can. Uh, he can. He can keep squir uh, squirming there. It's fine. I don't need rupees, bro. I gave. I gave Psy Games my money. I already have and all then, DLC characters, and I never then, play any of them. And then, and then you complain that you are considered the villain here. Listen, I have, I, I, at some point you gotta lean into it, you know. I got, I just, I, 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 I it, it, it's, it's, just, it's inevitable. Nobody, nobody, nobody roots for the, for the content creator. I'm a good heel. I do my best. He's a, he's a heel with a Goku profile pick. It's, it, it's, it's like the, you know, there's, there's a word for that, right? There's a word for like basically the heel, but like you kind of secretly you're like, oh, that guy, that guy's kind of sick. That's how I look at myself anyway. I'm, I'm very <laughs> humble. Also, that's one of my best qualities. Anyway, with all that being said, uh, I am going to kick all of you guys out of here now, uh, and I will record the outro for this video. But I'm glad we managed to finish it at before nine. We got there before the maintenance. We didn't get shot in the head by side yeah, games. Yeah, no, we did. I, honestly, oh, I really, definitely. I kind of liked the pacing of top eight with best of threes. I mean, I, I, I know it's worse for the players, but like this tournament goes really late sometimes, so I might even make this yeah, no, a I, permanent I, change. I can understand that. I, I do like the first five more, but I do understand keeping everything first to free and then making grand Until the final. finals. I'm final. I, I'll think yeah. about it, but that might I, I might try it out again next week. And if people if people bring out the pitchforks, I might revert it, but we'll see. That's because no, you know, typically I do understand with the the whole best of free format on that. Yeah, yeah. It's just the problem is as always the best of free format is always the time of adaptation and such and all that. Yes. And Anyways. some players just do work better with best of three. I mean, be best of five. I'm, I'm definitely a, I'm definitely a best of three player. Like I, I can, I, I get people out and then I hope they don't download me too fast. <laughs> uh, with all that being said, thank congratulations once again, Fuselet taking the back-to-back -back win there. Seika, Council, mm -hmm. Quirk, everyone in top eight, everyone who was doing the tournament, you guys all did a great job. I hope you guys had fun. Anyone who was watching it here too. Uh, I, for now, I'm going to kill all of you. And by that, I mean, I'm going to kill the stream and you guys are going to go along with it. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to Caught in 4K talking about murder. Cancel this man. Kill him with hammers. I will say I am proud of Floral for yesterday. Dude, she played. Dude, again, like Floral. Floral made me really sweat in that in that fuck finals too, man. I was. She, I was, she, le she legit replicated my Paragon run, coming all the way from losers and getting the reset and winning. Yes, great stuff by Floral, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, goodbye, forever. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Well, that there is going to be a tournament. Once again, we 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 finished in record time doing the best of 3 formats there. Again, we have it's it's 8:53 p.m. for me right now. We had until 9. You see right there in the news, right? Uh 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific time there. That is 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. uh Eastern time, which is what what the time zone that I'm on, right? So, we we got 7 minutes to spare, but we did it. Again, I, I'll be honest, like I, I, I might do that best of three thing uh, from now on for everything except finals because like having a little bit having like one extra hour in the nights to like edit some videos or something that could really help me out on these Wednesdays and Thursdays. But anyway, anyway, that was a lot of fun. And I can't I, I won my first slug finals too in open bracket which was obviously great. But Fuse was also playing ama amazing by the way. Just like to get us out of the way, like all of this stuff. Like I know uh, the, the whole point is you know people people naturally they do not root for the streamer for the content creator. So I, I lead into the heel uh, role a little bit, but obviously 
He's great. He's so nice. He's such a goddamn monster. Again, Vasaraga, even after the buffs, is still ass. Don't get it twisted. So the fact that he, he makes that character look horrifying. He's so, so, so unbelievably good at the game. What a guy. Uh, but for now, that's going to be a tournament. And if you've made it this far in the video, for like the six of you who have, then I have four things for you, as at least you know how it is. For number one, join the Discord server. We just swear, that's where we are, where we were right now, right? It's where these tournaments happen. There's a link in the description for you. It's a nice place. You can hang out to talk about Re Re Relink, Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising, the gacha game, art, music, any other topic, Elden Ring, whatever the hell you want to talk about. It's a nice place for you to hang out and make some friends. As you can see, everyone's really nice. Uh, everyone in the chat was really nice. So I guys can't see them, but they're all just really great. So I encourage you to join, but I also encourage you to please keep it the nice and welcoming place that it currently is. Uh, nobody's been banned or moderated even at all. Really? Right? So, if I, but I have to ban somebody, I will. And if it's you, then I will ban you. So just don't let it be you. For number two, if you like the video, and if you made it this far, I know you did, then get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps the channel out a lot. And I appreciate it a lot, of course, uh, while you're there. For number three, that subscribe button, that bell button, they are right over here. We'll keep you up to date with all of this content I'm throwing out to. we got three videos every day, somewhere between two and a half to, on, on days like this, where I'm playing tournament VODs, five hours of content every day. So once you have all that free time in your day, every day, for little old me, which I might have the case for mo I, I, most people I imagine cannot watch everything I put out, and that's understandable. That's why I repeat myself sometimes with some concepts, right? But if you're one of those rare few, I love you. It's kind of weird, but I love you. If you are not, which is probably most of you, I encourage you to hit those two buttons down there and get notified when something new is uploaded. Maybe go back and watch it if it's either particularly interesting to you or if you just have a minute to spare. And of course, for number four, most importantly, more important than the buttons to smash or whatever YouTube-friendly interactions hit me with, I appreciate those, but I've had a great time hanging out today, as always. You know why I sure did, right? It's always fun commenting these tournaments. The open bracket, especially, right? Seeing this, like, incredibly high-level play from some of these players, right? The Flug, the flug Final is always, uh, like, very interesting, right? Overall, I had a great time having a lot of fun with Grand Blue in general. There's going to be a whole lot more Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising coming your way. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace!